It, it's unquestionable. Victoria Two is the best soundtrack. Why is it the best soundtrack? Or, or in all fairness, do you th- do you do you think it's the best one, or do you like one of the other ones better? I I don't know which soundtrack is the best. I I. I... I certainly, I, I really like the Victoria 2 soundtrack. It was one of the last games where we actually didn't make the music ourselves. But uh, so I think that a lot of the music we've made since, uh, I really loved more in some ways. But but uh, I also love this. The Victoria 2 has period music, right? Uh, and when I play mm-hmm. other games, I actually have that this kind of U.S. Civil War soundtrack that I usually play in the background, like songs from the Civil War. Uh, so I, I really love yep. it. Um, Me too. But I, but I also, I also <laughs> you you too, yeah. Uh, no. But oh, I also love the ones uh, that came out. Uh, uh, yeah. If I'm playing Ultimate General Civil War, I'll play this in the background just because this is a lot of U.S. Civil War uh, music, so it just works out just perfectly that way. Yeah, absolutely. But but I think that I mean all our games have really great soundtracks, so so uh, I don't know which I would pick to be honest. But the Victoria Two one is really good. Uh, so we have another queue. This is a visual cue this time. So this one is, uh, again, just a, a simple name that country. We're going to pop it up on the screen here. Name that country. Is that Hanover? Is that Brunei? It could be Brunei. Is it Bavaria? Or is it Punjab? Which country? Silhouette is on the screen there. There's another little hint in that picture somewhere for some experienced players to help you out. So do you have a favorite country to play as? I know, I I do have a favorite country. Ooh, 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 hang on. Correct answer first, before you answer that. Correct answer was Bavaria. That was not a little island sticking off to the side there. That was just a little disjointed piece of Bavaria. But my question. Do you have a favorite country to play as when you play Victoria 2? I do. Uh, my favorite country is actually Sardinia Piedmont. Uh, because I think in all our games, the most fun countries to play are the small to mid-sized countries with a destiny. Uh, because it makes it very manageable to get into the game. Uh, but but you, you have a, a path uh, and you know that this country has the potential to succeed. So I, I played Sardinia Piedmont quite a lot uh, with, I think, Argentina as a runner-up. Because it's also, also a country that is like not so big, so you have a big empire to just get into at the start, but, but big enough that you can actually start to build something up and conquer your neighbors and build a strong economy. What's your favorite country? Oh, I, I'm entirely the same way. Like uh, For me, I think my favorite was uh, Japan and then Greece, just because they're both kind of slow, weak starts. I never like to start a a Paradox game as like the big bad boy. I like to start as something small, you know, something that I need to work into power uh, so that I can, you know, for me, it's it's a grander sense of accomplishment if I started weak and I got strong rather than just started strong and staying strong. Yeah, and and picking a country like that that can become strong, right? Instead of just picking one problem, because it's a different kind of challenge to pick a really small country that you get run over every every second time, right? But it's also harder. Uh, but I think in Victoria 3, I think Sweden will will pop up on my list, actually, because the the way the mechanics are shaping up is going to make Sweden much more interesting, I've found, so far. Uh, so, so far, I've been playing Colombia a lot. Ah. In... In, in Victoria 3. I don't know why, but whatever, wh- whenever I get the chance, I seem to be gravitating to South America. I think it's because I really like playing in Central and South American EU4, mm. so I just tend to play there a lot in other games too, just to kind of compare and contrast, but that's what I've been doing a lot was Central and South America for Victoria 3 so far, and I've been really enjoying it down there. Yeah, and I think South America generally works very well, both for Victoria 2 and 3, uh, because it's sort of like it's very contained, uh, you know the countries you're playing at. You don't have like a huge France or, or uh, something that's just going to run you over unless you provoke the big boys and they come in and knock your chessboard over, of course. Okay, we got our next question queued up, ready to go. So what was the full name of the first Victoria game in the franchise? The full name. Was it just plain old Victoria? Victoria, an empire under the sun. Victoria... Age of Revolutions or Victoria Revolutions. I honestly did not know the answer to this question. 
until a few weeks ago. And it it kind of surprised me. Do you, did you? I, I I will fully admit, I have not played Victoria One. Played a lot of Victoria Two, but I've not played Victoria One. What what about you? I. I think I played quite a bit of Victoria 1, but it all blurs together for me now. It was before I started at Paradox, mm. I started in 2004. Uh, but I was the I, I was kind of in the beta, you know, hanging out on the forums while in the beta test, so I think I played quite a bit of Victoria 1. Because the Victoria... It's always, it's always been my favorite of our games, right? Or, or the game I wanted, you know, it, every generation of games gets a little better, right? But it's the, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Victoria 3 now because it's sort of like it's going to be my favorite game. Uh, but uh, I think I played a fair bit of Victoria 2. Um, I, I, I think I did, but I don't, I don't remember. It, it's sort of like I'm thinking back on how it was to play Victoria 1. Uh, and, and I'm mixing up which feature was in Victoria 1 and which feature was in Victoria 2. I remember the, the big change we did like in Victoria 1, you had this kind of... Um, you, you had this uh, where prices were just set on straight on supply and demand uh, and Victoria 2 was much more of a system that's the, the difference I remember um, but uh, I, I played Victoria 1 and I really thought it was a good game but I don't remember what I, if I played it a lot compared to the other games um, and for those who are participating in the quiz here the correct answer was Victoria an empire under the sun I, I honestly thought for the longest time the, the name of the first game was just Victoria. I, I had no idea it had a subtitle that was that long, An Empire Under the Sun. Yeah, I remember I remember the name, uh, even though, I like I said, everything blurs together, right? So I don't remember which was which. Uh, I remember uh, we were, even after the fact, we were criticized a little bit because the, the name was boring. Uh, but now it's uh, it's stuck. Really? <laughs> yeah, it, it's like oh, I actually in some old I queen that nobody's heard of. What was the was the thing, right? <laughs> I, I think it's, it's sort of like oh, whoever oh, that was it. <laughs> whoever, it was whoever, who whoever is criticized Queen Victoria? Us for it. That. <laughs> whoever I thought it was thought gonna that be the subtitle, there, not right? the Victoria part. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm shocked. Who, no, who, no, no, who is it was, Queen it was Victoria? Like that. Nobody's yeah. heard of her. <laughs> well, it's, oh it's sort of, people have, there, there are like, you know, selling periods of history, right? You have the Roman Empire, you have World War mm. II, and then you have this boring bit in the middle with industrialization and stuff, right? Ah, <laughs> who cares about that stuff? Yeah. All right, but we got the next question ready to go. Um, what is the tagline of the box art for Victoria... Revolutions is the tagline be the revolution empires at war forged in fire or expand your empire it was actually kind of fun trying to find pictures of like the box art the big box art from games back then I still have a whole like in my closet behind me I still have a whole box full of big box copies of games that I really like. But man, that really takes me back. Like those big giant box that were like, I don't know, 15 inches tall. Yeah, uh, I still have my EU one. Back in the good old I'm days. I'm very proud of it. Like that was like, you know, the big cardboard box. Yep, yep. I I, I, I mean, I, they're probably still in my, you know, my father's house thousands of miles away from where I live now. But I'm pretty sure I still have big box copies of like old games from the 90s, like Panzer General. Yeah, I think I think I have that one somewhere as well. It was like such a waste. Of oh, space, good to right? know. You, you, I love you're that flipping game. it around, <laughs> so it has like a small disc in this big box, right? It was very, you know, unnecessary. But that was the thing. Uh, right? Oh yeah. Um, and the correct answer to that question was expand your empire. And if I remember, the picture on that box art too was like a full like British red coat and like a pith helmet. Like screaming at the, like running at you, like he's coming out of like the movie Zulu or something like that. Uh, I think the inspiration was probably Iron Maiden's Trooper, right? Oh, okay. I don't know. Whenever, whenever I'm thinking of like a red coat in the Industrial Revolution, I just go back to Zulu. Like that's that's what I, that's what my mind goes to, just because I like that. Movie it was probably up. that as well, right? But, but I think a lot of uh, people in the team back then were, were uh, metal fans, so, so it could also have been a bit of Iron Maiden inspiration there as well. 
you know, I Bruce Dickens like like run back and true. forth, back and forth on stage dressed as their red coats. I, I, I'm ninety percent sure I've I've heard a lot of people mention Sabaton. <laughs> yeah, I, to be honest, we, we uh, me and, and Don Lind, who's now the game director on uh, Hot Iron, uh, we work mm-hmm. in Victoria. We sat listening to the Sabaton song Primo Victoria on repeat in our headphones when we did it. So it wasn't that Victoria in the song, but it just felt uh, appropriate. <laughs> All right, so we are coming up on our last question here. So this is the last opportunity to get the Victoria 3 confirmed shirt from this event. You can still do it through the meme contest, uh, which again is uh, all over the social medias and on the forum there. Question. Who needs to drink the most liquor in Victoria 2 every day? Is the answer the capitalists, the soldiers, the laborers, laborers, I'm sorry, or the farmers? I like this question. L- liquor is an everyday need in Victoria 2. Oh boy, I, I can't, I... I hope most people get this right. I, I I do. I hope most people get this right. I feel like this one is. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think obvious is the right word. I don't want to offend anybody who doesn't get it right. But oh, this question just makes me smile. Oh, probably because I spent many hours making liquor-based economies in in Victoria Two in my times. There's definitely been playthroughs where I did nothing but build a giant distillery in Kiev just to keep the whole world plied in booze. But correct answer is capitalists by a huge, huge margin. Capitalist needs the most booze in Victoria too. Uh, and when I looked it up, I counted, it's almost more than everybody else combined. The capitalists need not quite as much, but almost as much as every other like pop combined um so my question my question is though why do capitalists need to be drunk all the time because it just seems like such a (laughs) (laughs) oh no that's perfect that's that no that's that that's 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 fair i thought there was i thought there might be a more deeper explanation to that but no they have the money they can afford it i mean mean, and if you if you sort of like qualify that a little bit it's it's the it's uh I think we decided that there, uh, at the early game, uh, most of your stuff comes from basic production, uh, like not industrial goods. You know, you eat uh, the stuff from the RGOs, uh, and then as the game progressed, the needs for things like luxury goods and more industrially produced uh, items uh, becomes more important. And at least in in the Victoria 2, if I remember, booze is made in a factory, uh, so you want you want capitalists. And it may, it might even have been a game balance thing that we realized that the the, the demand for booze was too low, uh, so we just kept upping it for the capitalists. <laughs> because the good thing with the capitalists, it, it, besides the fact that capitalists is, are, are good, uh, is that they come they increase towards the the end of the game. Uh, so if you have a good which you want to the the need for to increase through the game. It, it's good to put it on the capitalists because you're going to have more of capitalists and more of the industrial workers at the end of the game and more of the farmers at the beginning of the game. It just works out. It just works out. The capitalists have the money and somebody needs to drink it. <laughs> exactly. And, and if nobody if nobody drinks it, why? who should buy all the stuff from your big booze factory in Kiev, right? Exactly. I... I Man, I've done that more than once. Was just just put everything I had into making the biggest distillery in the world, and that eventually gets overrun in a war, and my entire economy comes crashing down. But that's the fun of Victoria too. You can play it any way you want. Um, we only have a few minutes left. Do you have any favorite? I know I have my favorite war story, but do you have your? Do you have a like a single favorite war story from Victoria? Ah, oh, which one should that be? Take your first. I I, I blanked out there. Okay. <laughs> hmm? Uh, we, we called it the War of the Unpaid Water Bill. Hmm. And I accidentally started World War I because, uh, you know, when somebody takes a loan and then they don't repay it and you get that, 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 you get a pop-up that's just like, you could start a war because this person owes you money. And, and you know, 99.9% of the time, it's just like, eh, I don't care about the 100 pounds. 
and she's, whatever, whatever. I don't want to. I don't care about this. Uh, I was playing. I don't even remember. I honestly don't even remember what nation I was playing. But uh, the Ottoman Empire had defaulted on a loan of it was like 120 pounds or something like that. And I just went, you know what? I don't need it. But this is principle. You you need to pay. You need to pay your bill. And I started a war with the Ottoman Empire, and it very slowly just progressed, and everybody kept. Ge- you know, coalescing into this bigger and bigger conflict, and it just turned into World War One, with just millions of people fighting across all of Europe because of the tiniest defaulted loan ever. And, I mean, uh, in, 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 in Victoria, fact, it's o- always it. super dangerous to play in principle, right? Uh, because it's sort of mm-hmm. like it, it's designed to spiral out of control, essentially. Uh, I, I don't remember really if I have a, a favorite. I played a lot of uh, Argentina and a lot of uh, Sardinia, and and mostly I just started over because I wanted to optimize my my starter points so I could start to become more and more uh, bigger and bigger. And I think playing Argentina, it's usually about kind of you know how when do you dare attack Chile before everybody else uh, jumps you <laughs> because you need the resources. Uh, and mm. with Piedmont, it's more like you know. Will France support me or not? Because otherwise Austria will run you over. Uh, but I, I don't really remember one of these epic things that. Oh, be. mine wasn't. E- oh, don't, don't. I don't know if "epic"s the right word. Mine was just starting a fight over like pocket change. <laughs> I mean, it's very common Victoria Two thing, right? Uh, it's like you attack somebody who's in somebody's sphere, who's in somebody's sphere. Uh, and then it spirals out of control, right? And the spheres makes it very interesting as well, right? Where you can sort of like maneuver countries in and out of your... I mean, the, the 19th century is the, uh, it's the era of interference, right? Where if it's not the big power's business, they will make it their business. Okay, so we are just about out of time for today. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Tama, thank you for joining me here in this spectral void that we're both in right now. Um, I believe we just have some conversations coming up. But again, thank you for joining us, everybody. And we will see you all, I was going to say, next time, but soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Troy, 
How did you do on the quiz? I don't know. <laughs> I was I was answering questions and then I would get busy and forget <laughs> that I'd answered a question. I was like, wait, what was the answer? Uh, did I get it right? Uh, did I get it right? Uh, I got uh, at least one right. Yeah. One. I mean, I Ben, how That's many dumb. questions did you get right? I wrote them, so I would hope <laughs> that I got them all right. <laughs> You're a cheater, Ben. That's what you are. <laughs> So, yeah. Trisha, I got all the tagline ones. I know I got all the tagline ones because you were like, what was, the, what was the title on the first box? And I was like, oh, that's easy. Come on. And then, like, the Revolution one, I was like, that's easy. Come on. But <laughs> names I'm good with. Everything else, no idea. I got real busy listening, so. So the, the name ones like that were the ones I honestly just had to look up because that was a little bit before my time playing PDX games. I think I started at Hearts of Iron 2, so, like, Victoria 1 was... Uh, was, it was a little bit before me. <laughs> so I had to cheat on those ones by just Googling what the box art looked like. Yeah. No, I, it's, a good, it's a good plan. When in doubt, Google it. Exactly. Well, that's why I also did. I, I like when I, because, you know, I've done like quizzes with friends and stuff like that before. And I never want quizzes when I make them to be extremely difficult. I don't want them to be so hard that, you know, most people can't can't get them right but i also don't want people to be able to just quickly google all the answers which is why i did right. an audio and a visual one too because those are ones you can't just quickly google and be like ah ha ha wikipedia yeah and of course <laughs> unfortunately you know i'm from the south so i was like oh that's the battle of the republic yeah, i know what that is <laughs> wait no oh, yeah oh, i know you would know that, that one off the, i mean yeah. i that one any, i assume <laughs> any americans would know that one off the top of their heads but maybe not europeans right Depending right. on you know their knowledge of our history, but Battle Hymn of the Republic is an easy one for us. Oh yeah. For us Americans. Oh yeah. Speaking of back home, how's the weather? <laughs> awful, absolutely <laughs> awful. But I mean, I live in, I live in Florida, and it's 110 degrees and 100 percent humidity and bright and shiny every single day. And I'm like I'm like a mushroom. Like everybody tells me because I'm coming to Sweden soon, and everybody keeps telling me that. It's sweet. They're like, Stockholm's awful. It's cold and it's rainy and it's gray. And right. You're going to hate it. And I'm like, no, right? perfect. Exactly. That's perfect. I look, love it. Look, see, see, look. I, I told I you. I like the weather too. All of us from, from warm climates are like, yeah. oh my God, please give me the cold. Give me I the rain. Go, give me the I want to go to even colder. Yeah. Basically. That's true. Yeah. Iceland. Just straight up north. And my Did you know they don't have mosquitoes too on Iceland? For this weather? They don't have, they don't yeah, have your, mosquitoes. Yeah, your dogs are going to be so happy in the cold. They're like, oh my God, this yeah. is amazing. What's going on? We should get one of the dogs up here. That, that's just banter. <laughs> that's, that hey, you should. Theodora. <laughs> yeah, let's, get, let's get a dog. Hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, get a dog. Ladies and gentlemen, we're acquiring dog. <laughs> I promise you, having you know worked with Finn and being part of the community team, I know that this is worth it. Are you ready, everyone? <laughs> look at this flow. There you go. Look at there the bumper. Go. Gotta look up, though. You're not in frame. There we go. There we go. Look at that dog. Look, here. there's dogs for everyone. We're kind of oh, washed no. out here, and I can't hear what anybody's saying anymore. No, there we were just we saying go. totally worth it. Totally worth it. This is the best part of the stream so far. Troy, doesn't this uh, make uh, waking up at 7 a.m. this morning worth it? Totally worth it. Everything is now <laughs> worth it. It's, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, Ben, are you, are you, are you ready to be sad? It's a uh, it's 56 and there's a nice light drizzle of rain going on outside and it's cloud cl over cl overcast cloudy. Oh yeah, no, totally jealous. <laughs> yeah. In incredibly jealous because like if I opened up the blackout curtains behind me right now, it would blind you all. Yes. <laughs> I do not miss the sun back home. That's for sure, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Okay, Theodora. We've I'm run getting out of, very run distracted out of treats. by this dog. Yeah, run out of treats so it's time to go away. <sighs> no, no, no. There's more there's more treats. This oh, just like <laughs> Here we go. There we that's go. The, that's the, that's <laughs> there's the, that's always the angle. more treats. Yes, there is. Hi, <laughs> highlight reel, PDXCon Remix yep. 2021. Well, when I was doing the uh, Grandest Land for um, EU4, I had I think I had both of my dogs up in the chair yeah. at one point. Oh yeah, that was the other was one's good. too lazy to sleeping on the couch right now. <laughs> there's there's definitely screen grabs of that. I'm well aware. So. Yep. I was there. Oh yeah, it there's one, there's one perfect one from from that of when me and Grugi were hosting of uh, Penelope, my golden retriever <laughs> yeah. on the screen, yep. and Lord Cyrus Grugi's hedgehog on the screen next to each other. Which, which it's just like why perfect. why even bother having people here to host these things? Just we don't pets up at all times. Uh -huh. Just pets. Yeah. The fact the fact that Grugi has a like an albino hedgehog is just 
the best thing in the world. Like I said, we were and talking there's about a, there's this. a whole gaggle of guinea pigs too now. Yeah, there are, there are. We were <sighs> talking about this though, in my panel. You know, we were talking about like the the real winners of, of PDXCon are the mm. pets, right? Yes. Like yeah, the pandemic was kind of uh, and like people didn't like staying at home, but like the pets won, man. Yeah. We've got all these pets at Paradox. We've got Bazcat. We've got Cyrus. We've mm-hmm, got mm-hmm. both of Ben's amazing fluffy clouds <laughs> of love and goodness. <laughs> That is I just, correct. I can't. I'm so, my heart is so full of Paradox Pet love all yep. the time. I'm so happy. It's great for meetings. Everybody's oh, yeah. cats go on the screen. My dogs jump in the chair all the time. Whenever we're all in meetings together, it's just, it's like half pets, half people. Yep. True story. At one point, he had the dog in the chair and put the headset on the dog <laughs> and walked off. And none of us, none of us were any the wiser. We were just like, oh yeah, totally. This meeting is fine. They look exactly the same, it's I true. think. It's true. It's true. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to distinguish. Yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah. I, 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 we, I like how we've gotten so far afield off topic. Yeah, right. What, what's what's this event called again? What are, what are we doing? I don't remember. We can just look at more dogs. I think something it's just about, banter at this point. <laughs> so, something <laughs> about a Victoria? I don't know. Yeah, right. Oh, right. Confirmed, right? Confirmed. Yeah, confirmed. Yeah. Uh, what's the next event, Troy? You know what this next event is. Well, there's another event. I definitely don't have anything to what's do with it. What's the next this. segment? Oh, called? the next segment is String of Kings. Yeah. Which will be a tag in, tag out stream. If we can get it to work, we are... A rain reviewing. relay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Relay, yes, you did it. <laughs> did you did you write that one down? Was that on a card? Yeah, it's on the. It's card. on your card. It's on, <laughs> I'm, on my oh. joke card. <laughs> yeah, she has a joke card. Wait, wait, wait. You, the, there's an entire card of just jokes. Yeah, see, like look, like not the don't. itinerary. Oh. <laughs> I need. Okay, okay. Somebody <laughs> screen cap it, blow it up, and enhance. No. We need to know what all the unused ones are. Troy, Troy knows that my I, handwriting I is illegible. I was also. right there, right next to her while she was writing them. But yesterday, uh, true story, yesterday we were sitting there and, and Jimmy picks it up and he's like reading, trying to read it off. And he's like, I don't know what this says. And of course, that's because Jimmy doesn't know how to read. Yeah. So, you know, that works. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to, I I wrote down everybody's name that's going to be in the String of Kings. Kings do, do you want to read it? Yeah, I'll do read. This is going to be all the influencers and I'm all ready. the devs. I'm, re- I'm ready. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to count them. You're going to count them and judge Tichian, you. Tichian. Right. OPB. Koi Fish. Enigmatic Rose. Mange. Matthew. Zach. Elizabeth. Jacob. And then you as a host. And me as a host. And you as a host. You were real close on most of them. You, 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 you were a little off. It's Peachy Inna. Oh. Anna. This is too I like many how names. you totally butchered Magna's name. <laughs> You're just like, Ma. I wrote it wrong. Ma. It, there's, you can, yeah, it's Mag, you can call Magnus like a Swedish nickname is Magna. And I we and we, we discussed this. It's not Matt anymore. It's experienced right. Matthew. It's not mid level Matt. It's experienced Matthew. Experienced Matthew. No. Got a title upgrade. I don't think that's going to work in my brain for no. a while. No. So he's yep. here. You can he is here at him. in the yeah. studio. He might just be sitting, hanging out in a room mm-hmm. now. I mean, we had technical issues. That there's something going on with uh, with our connection. We're trying to get everyone connected and you know logged into the game. Yeah. And there and you know Andre's just like, oh, there's there's two <laughs> connections. They must be doing something wrong. And then all the other connections failed. And he's like, ooh. <laughs> huh. I was like, I'm just gonna reboot this. I'll, yeah. I'll re- yep. And then when yep. I, re- I rebooted it, everything had a login to a different account that we don't have centralized. So I was like. I'm just gonna log in using all my own information. How about that? I logged yep. in, I get it ready. And that was about when this started. So I was like, I should probably go. Yeah. I've got a I've got a job to do right now. <laughs> Instead I mean, of this job that I have to do right now, you know. Who needs that? But yeah, speaking of string of kings, they're yelling in my ear. We gotta go for break so that oh. we can set up the next segment. Are we going? Yeah. Ben, Thank- thanks for being here. Thank you, buddy. You're very welcome. It was a lot of fun being in the portal portal here. Yeah, yeah. well and, you know, done we on the could, quiz. We could talk with you all day. <laughs> I probably will be talking with you after this on, you know, <laughs> on the on the slacks. So, yeah. mm-hmm. thank you again. Thanks for the quiz. Um, and I'll let you send us out. That's your job. Yeah, your Stray job. Kings is coming up next. We'll see you later, chat. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Hello, everyone. Welcome back to PDXCon. I know you just saw me, like, literally 25 feet that way. Or those of you in European standard measurement, like, eight and a half meters that way. Um, but yeah, hi. Back again, here to do a string of kings. We have nine excellent players here to play games with you and tag in and tag out of a very interesting, shall we say, stream for CK3. I know you're used to seeing me in front of a camera like this, so it feels really natural and comfortable to be back home with you and chatting about what's going on. I'm waiting on my order right now to tell you who's going to play in what order, and that way we can get everyone playing and rolling the ball as we go. But just to let you know, we will be here for about, um, what, two hours, an hour, two hours? Two hours, I think, we've got. So we'll be playing two hours of the game. Little breaks in between each set, and it'll be a two-person tag team, so two people playing, one guiding and influencing the other while one plays. We'll take a break, and then we will swap over to the next set and let them try and sort out the mess that the previous set left them. While we're not being malicious and trying to sink the boat of the previous pair, we are definitely trying to make it a little bit more interesting for each pair. Everyone has a little bit different play style, and seeing how they cooperate and work through those errors and issues is going to be part of the fun. So once we're ready, I'm going to get my little my little notes ready here. Give me a second. Make sure I have all of our players in and ready to go. And once we get that done, like right now, we are we are good to go. I've got Manga on the line with me and OPB. So, hi guys. Hello. Hello there. I see OPB has on the best suit still. It is amazing. The entire weekend. It's, uh, I, I streamed for eight hours, of course, in Seven Seals today, and everybody was a fan. Yeah, man. How are you feeling <laughs> after that, by the way? Honestly, um, I, I really thought that I would take a, a number of breaks during it, but... The seals just came in so frequently, it was so much fun. It was one of the wildest Crusader Kings playthroughs that I have ever done, and also one of the ugliest. So I regret nothing, and I hope that it was fun for the people watching as well. Well, you know I was there and cheering you on the whole time. Magna, how was a, how was a nice relaxed morning of enjoying the show that was going on? Indeed. I've <laughs> tuned into a few of the streams, and other than that, you know, mostly just had a nice rest very nice. I hope you've enjoyed most of PDXCon, because I know I have, and I'm glad that you guys are here with me still. It's been a long weekend, we've done a lot of things, we've seen a lot of things, we've learned so much, and there's only more to come in the future. Magna, I know you're excited about the new Royal Court expansion and all the features that are coming with it, so if you want to talk or discuss any of that while you're in-game, anything you can or are allowed to do, feel free to. Uh, in the meantime, you're the first one, so you get to choose where we start and how we start. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that, uh, though I think I need to turn down the game audio so I can actually hear you properly. Yeah, definitely. The music is currently deafening me a little bit. There we go, that should be better. Uh, excellent. Yeah, I think what we said was that we wanted to play Ivory the Boneless, right? Yes, that sounds fun. Uh, let, so let's go with that, if I can actually find him. Well, that was easy. And... Yeah, I mean, we haven't planned too much here because it's going to be, you know, a chaotic situation, but what we want to do is kill a lot of people because, I mean, that's what you do as a Norse pagan app, right? And to make things challenging for us, we are not going to pause the game at all except for whatever events that we have. So, let's see what we are up to. We are currently in two wars, it appears. Uh... Well, I think we're just there as allies. Uh, looks like it. So let's just help our allies out because we're we're good allies. Well, if we're lucky, we might be able to, you know, take some prisoners or what have you. With this war, we'll be uh, if if we win it, we'll get the northern half of Northumbria, which will be a really good uh, invasion stage. Should anybody want to take Scotland or maybe go against our brother half done. There's a lot going yeah. on there. It's, it's nice, I have to say. Uh, not having yeah. to play, actually just being able to enjoy it, that's a, that's a different feeling. <laughs> exactly. Let's get rid of this little army over here. Uh, I am not entirely clear on who we're at war with. I think we're at war with Northumbria over here. Yeah. 
I, I have to tell you, I've tried the Blood Eagle achievement. I, I really want to speedrun that. I wanted to do a speedrun guide for that for ages now. It never works. Things always go sideways. But I can recognize the Northumbrian flag anywhere. <laughs> At any given moment. <laughs> that, so that is our war over there. Let's get rid of their army and then we can go and siege them. Uh, that attrition there is a bit painful. Uh, let's see yeah, if we can just land the day, over though. in their capital. Uh, because that seems like, you know, a nice place to go. We have plenty of money. Uh, they don't have much in the way of troops at all because we just killed them. Mm, though these guys do, and I guess we might up end a little bit hostile to them. Uh, that's a problem for future us. Uh, lifestyle. Well, we are warring, I guess. So how about a bit of uh, a war focus? Which one would you prefer? Uh, I would take the the chivalry on, one for sure. The the yep. immediate bonuses there with the uh, I think it's called the yeah. I mean, literally chivalric dominance. It's so good. It's oh, it's beautiful. We're, we're setting up people for success there when the knights are plus seventy five percent effectiveness. I love that. that I love it so much. That definitely helps. Uh, do we have all of our armies raised? We have some unraised troops over there. Uh, oh, I don't think... Oh, yeah, we can raise them. Let's get them in. Okay, let's try to not be silly and take attrition. We yeah, can probably... Looks... Quite good then. Might be a good idea to actually have, you know, some <laughs> commanders on this. Oh, no worries. Half done is destroying um, the Northumbrians down there. And can we get over here? We'll take a little bit of attrition, but that's fine. That oh man, I forgot actually... with how much money we start. Yeah, no, that is a significant chunk, so if we need it, we can hire some mercenaries, but for the moment, I uh, don't think there is much need for that. So far, you're absolutely dominating. There's barely anything uh, to be said in terms of uh, needing to adjust strategy. Yep, well, that's, that's one quote there, and oh, he's raising a truly massive army there. I mean, it's very high quality, but I think those ten men will have a bit of a bad time against our 2000. Uh, maybe we're lucky and... One of the ten knights. Well, quite a few died. So, yeah. <laughs> Two of them actually died in, in combat here. So, I think we're off to a good start on our whole goal of killing people. I assume they might not be attributed to us specifically, though. Since we did not oh, personally I kill them. I count Okay, then, then, then I hope you, you'll keep count for us then for any kills that don't actually get displayed in the game itself. Otherwise right now we're you have about one million, so good job. We're already <laughs> doing plenty of work. I'm not sure there's even a million people in you know all of Northumbria. <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt it. <laughs> Maybe Somehow in all of England, work, but, but not in all of Northumbria. <laughs> there we go, that's another one down. Let's get rid of this. I roughly know how to play the game. Uh, oh, let's not take attrition then. Uh, let's get rid of these. We should nominate a successor. We should get a dynasty legacy. Ooh. Any preference oh, here? Which one do you prefer here? What, which one do you I prefer? mean, I, since we're, you know, Norse, I assume we should get one of one of these. Adventuring oh, yeah. or pillaging. Which one sounds more fun to you? So if we're if we're gonna do this where we wanna set people up for success, it's definitely sea wolves. It, it's pillage. Pillage is super good, makes it so that we can go in and with the later legacies very early. Look, look at that. The naval speed, we can pillage like lightning, prestige and frame from battles. Oh, yeah. We just need to lead it ourselves. It's great. It's really good. Yeah, uh, should we just go without them? Let's do that. Uh in the meantime, war's going fine there. We got the tiny little army there. I think with this siege, though, we will probably have the war score to enforce the months. Yeah, we're getting like 16 from each, so that should be it. And then I hope that we don't just inherit the war against these guys, because they do actually have more troops than us now. Uh, so 
Oh, I think they're actually taking that one from us. So that's not ideal. Well, yeah, so what we're seeing right now is what, what we want. Essentially, that's what we get from the war. Our brother half then gets the southern half. But once the, once he mm. wins, he just ignores us. He just goes away. Oh, that's good then, I guess. Ooh. Uh, that's, well, that's our wife, so I guess we might as well sleep with her. Uh, <laughs> A novel idea. Yeah, we, we can tell her that we're really tired of her games. I mean, <laughs> wh why would she try to seduce us, her husband? That's, that's just, you know perverse my wife please stop talking to me it's unacceptable there well she's now our lover that's how, how lovely uh let's see then... who do we want as our successor well that's a good question none of these christians they they gotta they gotta go away for sure With the, oh that uh... is for that's for scotland actually oh uh... yeah i mean we got no chance None of these people will vote for us. No, probably not. Uh, can we even vote for ourselves here? I don't think so. Yeah, not only dynasty members. I don't oh, think we right, particularly. It's I don't it's think we particularly right. care at the moment, to be honest. Who wins in there? Like, it's not like we have any real relations to them. Wow, this guy really doesn't like us. Uh, did the game just freeze there? Never mind. That's. Yeah, he really dislikes us, because he wants all of our stuff, and also we just wouldn't get along. That's fine. He also has a claim on all of our stuff, which isn't very nice of him. Oh, and our son's all grown up. Uh, he's coward. gregarious, vengeful, craven. He is, you know, kind of diplomatic though, but, well... No, not in practice. <laughs> uh, he could have been better. He's, he's a spineless antagonist. That's definitely who we want to, you know, follow us. That's a disinheritance if I've ever seen it. Yeah, I mean, we have we have this guy. He's definitely a bit better there. He's also, you know, kind of pretty to look at. So, a bit I love arrogant, this guy but has the I mean. Worse. He has the worst diplomacy education and yet has such a higher diplomacy stat than the other guy. Okay, so what we'll get is this stuff, I guess. So fine. I should probably... Let's see. Ah, they took back one of those sieges. That's entirely my own fault. Because I didn't kill off their army. Wait, what? I'm not sure what happened there. I think he got... I think he got imprisoned. I think Haftan got imprisoned. Can, can you go on Haftan and look at his at his truces? So the it's, it's the... to the south with the white eagle? I mean, judging by his wife, yeah. That seems like where. King Ella, actually, oh, he must have imprisoned There we go. There this we is perfect. Off. Now we got... Now we get to do this. Oh, that yes. is beautiful. I mean, we have to do this, right? Absolutely. Oh, I love this. I, okay, <laughs> that is so we have rare. Another war down there, apparently. That is also our war. Uh, oh, that is maybe a little we gotta, bit far. We gotta go. Let's just drop in uh, in East Anglia by sea. We can uh, naval attack. Sure. Sure, that's fun. I've, I I have to admit, I've never seen a half done loose. This is already a one in a million uh, opportunities. Yeah, it's a bit, bit, bit of a shame maybe that his loss means that we don't get the stuff. It feels like it would be fitting if his war's just gone now, uh, that we can just, you know, take the stuff that he otherwise would have gotten. So. We do a blood eagle with a ruler, could... but don't take it all, yeah. Howdy, boys. Ooh, that is... <laughs> That's you West have... Frankie over there as well. Uh, that is... You have five oh, minutes left, enemies. gentlemen. Five minute warning. Five minutes. Oh, uh, that was quick. Yeah. I'll let you get back to uh... it. I just wanted to come and say hey and interject. So I'll let you nice know when see. we're about yeah. wrapped. Alright, so there's nine and a half thousand of these guys. So we're yep. in for some trouble oh there. God. The French Maybe came. we uh, yeah. can get enough... Oh, we're also ill. That's fun. Uh, let's see if 
we can hire enough mercenaries to make a difference. Ooh, I think that's not going to go great, but let's try. Let's try it. Let's not extend If we don't take that, risks don't now, then, you know. Exactly. Uh, I have no idea what that event was, to be honest. I uh, didn't have the chance to actually look. Should we, we go into debt as well? To let's man. avoid that. Uh, let's see. Let's get these guys over here. We're not allied to half down, right? We, we can't pull them in. And we are also having a bit of a supply problem here, which isn't ideal. I don't think we have anyone we can call in. Uh, oh, I only just noticed actually. We have we are totally over the domain limit. We need to. Oh, that is uh, not ideal. We just, we, we just took all that land. Yeah, I, I forgot about that entirely as well. Yeah, that, that, that minor thing. Uh, let's give this to our son. And let's give this to our other son. Uh, and let's give this one to yet another son. It's a good thing we have quite a few sons. Edinburgh, I feel like we can keep for ourselves, though. Uh, do we have another son? No, but we can reward this champion for his good service. Okay, there, oh, there oh we have God. the enemies. I'm not sure this is going to go well for us. Ooh. Um, that is, I, I think against the French here, this is just. Uh, well, well, we're a we'll great see. commander, I, I guess, but yeah, oh, we, catch and we, we we should avoid attacking oh, no. over rivers. Yeah. Um, we're also having supply if they problems. Split conveniently at some point, but yeah. Yeah. This no okay. pause. Uh, well, is, they're, they're is a bit actually, split here. You got this. Oh, they, okay. oh, only one well, of them is walking in. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, yeah, you got this. Yeah, before they join, so th this might... Ooh, this is gonna be close here. Oh, this is gonna... Oh, Ooh. no, we got oh, it. They, we, oh, they came in. Oh, we've got it. We've got it. Uh, they have the superiors there. What a perfect catch. Oh, my God. That could have gone go. sideways. Extremely good. Wow. There, I am happy with that. There, we, we do have uh, ticking wars go against us in because we don't hold anything in, in Norfolk. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on getting over oh, there. Though we are battle. currently dying slightly. Oh well, god! We yeah, we were we're not having a great time. Oh, we got. Uh, we're no longer this. ill, so that helps. But, uh, I feel like the next next people will have an interesting time. <laughs> but I mean, that, that was the goal, oh, yeah. right? This is a. Uh... I, that was such a close battle. What a what a shame that we got maimed. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, uh, it's more fun that way, right? Uh, now they're gonna attack us again. Um, probably. Oh, gonna they're gonna, we're time. gonna be attackers. We're gonna be attackers this, because we're on their on their foot. This is gonna be. Yeah, I. Ooh. Well, we'll see. I mean, five k still Our commander is a lot better. Oh, there they are. Mm, I'm not too hopeful here. It's gonna be close. Oh, oh and no. we also lost the song. How did he die? Not I guess like he died this. in battle here. Yeah. Oof. And we're not, not even tragedy. winning the battle to avenge him. I don't think. I I don't know. I'm not sure we can do this war. We can have a white piece though. Should we go for that, or maybe oh, we yeah. should leave that decision for the next are... person? No, they're gonna they're gonna pursue him. Like we, our troops are gonna die in the battle. Oh yeah, we, we only attack. have. Yeah, let's do it then. That's. Our children are all <laughs> dying. Could, could, could have gone better. <laughs> oh, and so did we. <laughs> this is great. Uh, this think, is uh, actually great. I think this is also, you know, I think we have roughly half a minute left. So maybe this is. Where we want to give it over to the next people? <laughs> Boys, that was that was beautiful. I could not have asked for a more perfect pause point. I just, oh, oh, glorious. So, first segment done. <laughs> you you led your brave yeah. nation directly where it needed to go, and I I I could I, I can't ask for any more than that. So yeah, I, I mean, at, at least we we got some land over here. I think yeah. Yeah, well, uh, let them figure that out next. It's no longer your problem. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Well, boys, thank you so much again. I'm going to talk with you after this on the internet. But in the meantime, we're going to swap you out for the next set. So I'm going to tab out of the game. No worries. Do not panic. 
And I'm going to grab our next contestants. Coming on down to Great. the system. Magna, see you online at work. And OPB, thank you again. Up next, we have Rose and our lovely QA, Jakob. Howdy, friends. Hey. Yeah, that was a smooth Hello. transition. You like that? It's almost like we're yeah. professionals mm -hmm. here or something. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, continue as your old bard. Oh. Welcome, friends. You have uh, died. We're starting off at the best point possible. Are you ready? Yeah. No. Let's do this. No. I mean, I'm not controlling this. You are color commentator. going to be yeah. doing all the magic. There yeah. we go. I'm just here. I'm Let's just here pause. for the ride. All right. Here you go. You're just Good here luck, for the ride before severely. Yes. Injured. Yeah, it's dude. gonna be it's gonna be rad. I'm actually sitting here watching the game, watching chat, and making sure you guys are okay. So this is gonna be a laugh riot to see what happens. Good luck and let me know if you All need right. anything. Have fun, friends. Alright. Thank you. So we're unpause we're unpaused, but we need to find ourselves a wife. Ooh. Yeah, and naturally I think we're very extremely splintered. Uh we had a pretty good round going and now we don't. Yeah, now we don't. But hey, there's a genius woman. Oh, uh, we can raise a runestone. We can do all sorts of things. Dominate a successor doesn't care about. Hey, why are we going diplomacy? Sure. Oh, yeah, I mean, AI? Hello? Uh, <laughs> so here's a question, right? We can either try to unite the realm again, because we're the strongest, or abandon it completely and go traveling, you know? Establish a colony somewhere. Yes. Uh, I think it's time to go. I think it's time to yeah. peace out of the British Isles and just... Yeah, let's peel out of here. <laughs> okay, who didn't turn off advice? Oh my god. Go away. I don't need your advice, game. <laughs> don't. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, we have nasty head. No. No. Mm, Mallorca? He's too far away. What about Mallorca? Nope. Nope. Uh. Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> not really not. <gasps> what about Brittany? Brittany sounds like a little... Maybe oh, Montague? Hasten. Oh, yeah, he's lost all his armies. 4K. Yeah, we could, we could use Go it for as a jumping off point. Well, Brittany's bigger, yeah, so you might want to well just grab the Brittany, but... Yeah, um, they've only got 899 troops. Varangian Adventure, we need a thousand prestige. Oh no, I forgot about that. No. Uh, All right, time to go raid. Party? Raiding party? Oh, raiding party and throw a. Party piece. raiding? Yep. Well, feast of cheery gathering. Excellent. Raiders. Our raiders. Raise. Always raiders? Oh, I think the only raiders we can raise are the uh, levies, and a lot of it, of our armies are made of the host, the special units, which cannot participate in raiding. I see that. We also have. Oh no, I don't want to spend prestige, prestige on men at arms. Okay. This is so stressful. Our regular guys. So our regular. Yeah. <laughs> our regular guys can totally be raiders, though. Uh -oh. oh, they're mercenaries. No. No cheating. No. This is illegal. Rose, what are you doing? What? What? Okay. I mean, just bolstering your raiders with regular armies, just like, you know, support. No, I was trying to just raise the levies. Mm. But it's not letting us. I want to raise those guys. What's going on here? Right. There's so many. If we have so many armies, why don't we just conquer something? Let's not... That's true. Except we need prestige to go to war. <sighs> you know what I think, though? I think it's time to go raid the Pope. Nah, because we a, need to fix our one. hat. We need yes. a new hat. Steal, steal the hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't care. You can stay there. We're going to leave this land. Whoa. Ooh, someone's clicking um, something. Someone's clicking something. Someone's like hitting the X button over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Um. Did someone fall asleep on the keyboard? There you go. <laughs> okay, Raiders. 
Are they on their way? They're on their way. Let's let's speed up things. Speed up five. Just to get there faster. We don't really have Keep it there, minutes. keep it there. Keep keeps with five. We need uh. to get as far as we can. Yes. Except I can't see anything. Cool, we've got a sun. Good for us. Great. Can't spend any time on him. We're not. Oh, it Good didn't stuff. actually do it. Good stuff. We got sick. We got like it's so fast. <laughs> I'll steal his ideas. Go ahead. Cruel, perhaps, but it must be done. <laughs> yeah, say it's the fastest. This is thing. how you win. This is how you win. You play speed five. You do, you have no time to think about your choices. Just click. Just click. Just click and raid and make sure I actually click places that have holdings. Wow. Um, uh, repair them. We'll re yeah, repair the ships. Uh, our sun is charming. Uh, I guess there's worse coffers. things you could be. Yeah, you have yeah, we're at 129 or 193. Yeah. Oh, we have daughters now. I didn't even know we were married, but apparently we are. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, almost. 166 over 89. We'll raid something else. And then time to run home! Mom, we're coming home! We've got stuff. We're writing history! Is what we're doing. Cool. Great. Oh, actually, that's actually epic? not a bad idea. We're gonna have a bunch of money. We can yes. uh, commission an epic. We can get a bunch of prestige for it. Oh my word. Uh, it's grayed out for some reason? Oh, we need more money. Okay, now we do. Now we have money. We can commission oh. Epic, get some more prestige, and get raiding. Or, uh, what's it called? Varengan Adventure. I should know that shit. You should. I should, uh, right? Yeah, let's use one of our best bards. That's fine. Best bards and focus on myself or yourself. Oh, and now we can have a life of glory. Yes. Because <laughs> what else it's, are we supposed to do with our lives? It's all coming up, Millhouse. No, nope, yes. the focus is on us. All right, Raiders, let's go back out. Or wait, we've got more than enough for... No, we need, what, is it 2,000? Uh, I think it's 1,000. But what you can do, you can do a dip in diplomacy to uh, get half uh, the... What's it called? The, uh, the your claims, like when you want to declare war, it's half the cost. Yes, I think though. I think it's one thousand for a Varangin adventure. Yeah, let's. Hi, you. Hey, yep, let's go. go. Six thousand. Watch Superior, out. Superior. He's got more troops. Because um, he's got an ally with France. Great. Uh, maybe let's let's raid Bavaria. Let's let's let Bavaria. You know that's where OPB is. Let's move to Bavaria, and we're gonna slowly we can, make our hey, way. We can go to Navarra. We could. Go for it. Yep, let's no, go. No time to make decisions. Oh, 9,000. Oh. You've got five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Croatia? Is it too far? Yeah, I think over there is too far. Asturias? Come on, we're going to spend our whole time just trying to find someone that we can fight. Hey, you're superior, superior but only 3,000. Superior, though. Do yeah. we have any allies? We don't. We, have kids. we do have kids, though. Hey, son. Who do you Allies, want to please. marry that has a lot of lands power? Our spy master. What? No. Oh, uh, that's I think not you our did son. it the wrong way, yeah. F1's not we working. Uh, we just got a that war declared on us. We did. And it's pause. I did not hit pause. It's not letting me unpause. Um, excuse me, there we go. I didn't hit the pause button, I swear. Where Someone's messing in with our settings. Someone uh, who's attacking us? Gwynedd uh, Orioles. They're yeah. finding that one Irish province, like, why? Just why? It's a waste of time. Not. We've got nothing better to do with their lives? Yeah, how about no? We've okay, also we got only some... got 2,000 troops now. Also, we have a lot of monthly prestige gain. 12.5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, so I think that's time to make some of these dudes. Hello. Let's grab you, and then let's grab some cheap archers. This is so stressful. Uh... Yes, having only 20 minutes. But you oh, can't do anything in 20 seals. minutes. Yeah, no, and you were asking like a day. Race and nonsense. Yeah. All right, come on in. Wait, are we? Uh oh. Apologies if you hear my son crying in the background. He's refusing nap time with my husband. Oh, it's it's our son. Oops. It's our son in the game. <laughs> it's crying right now. <laughs> yeah, we do have a son and what? Two daughters? Yep, we have twin daughters. Yes, it's the rosebud. Aww. The rosebud wants to be on the PDX channel. Oh. <laughs> I guess because he was only the size of a peanut at the last PDX con. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, speed up speed five, maybe? Oh. Come on. Can't make it easy on ourselves. On yep. Kay. Murder someone. You Our guest. Know. Also, sun, alliance, power. We got distracted. You, I don't know who you are, but we'll marry you because we're losing. Um, we're gonna have no army to pass on. Yeah. We did read the Pope though, so we do have to do something important. Who knows what's happening with our battle? Put a Pope hat. Yes. Where is our Pope hat? I believe at the very bottom. Isn't it at the very bottom? Hello. Oh, Patriot. No, Pope Papal Tia. There, there we go. We stole that. <laughs> we just took a while to put it on. They have such a... Oh, no. Uh, just... I. Th oh, God. I think we have to surrender here. I mean, we're the only one that won Irish province. I don't think we should care for it too much. Probably not. Yeah, sure. Marry our nephew. That's fine. No. Was no one, no one even wants to come in. Okay. I guess we're gonna surrender, we can lose it. We don't care about Dublin. No. We're trying to leave the British Isles anyway. Yeah. Though they did like, but... take all of our prestige away from us. And now we're being called to a war. Okay. Let's ignore that war and let's go trial by combat. This cheap disc. Yes, gold. <laughs> yes, we can Wait, always- Wait, we're gonna be wearing gold. the hat. We're gonna be wearing the hat in the duel. Yeah. Of course. What happens if he knocks the hat off? No, we'll be fine. He can't take the hat. <laughs> uh, I mean, we have Prowse 4 versus 13. We'll be fine. Oh, really? Maybe he'll trip on his sword. <laughs> You think you can beat someone as famous as, someone as, famous yes, as go me? <laughs> Just keep you know insulting what your him. Problem is, Fierce? No. Well, <laughs> you'll rule the day you defeated Yarl Barrett. You can't take our hat, though. <laughs> There's no justice here. Rip. Hey, we got prisoners, though. Um. Oh, should we become rakish? Or yes. Irritable? Rakish. You gained the trait rakish. All right, let's go. Let's go take care of our uh, stress and visit a brothel. Yeah. I mean, we we've lost land. We've we stole lost a pope hat. That's our one great achievement: is we stole a pope hat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we still have a few provinces that is going like generate us um, troops when we want to declare the Varangian adventure. But right now we're. Not getting that yeah. much prestige. No, what do you think? Who should we go with, Odin? Uh, I think Ulrich or Ulrich is my favorite because he's just like you have Ulrich more stuff. All right, I'll let, I'll let everyone else to figure out what it, this modifier does. We don't have time. Uh, I will ignore her and steal her ideas. Oh, Always geez. works. Oh, we failed some minutes later. Always. Hey, and we can become a Dignitas. Diplomacy per level of fame. We're not very famous, though, are we? Yeah, we're just dutiful. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's piety. Uh, we're distinguished. Illustrious. 
Oh yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, we we have a couple of provinces. Maybe we can attack our brother and just take back our land. At least like solidify a bit. This dude. Yeah, this who is dude. he? Seven hundred and ten troops. We have a thousand. We could try this dude. Uh, he probably has allies, but let's see. Let's just go for him. Yeah. Why? Wait, what? Army's race. Oh, we're still in a war. Oh yeah, we got called into this stupid war. Just, just so disband your armies. And... Yeah. I had to double check we weren't actually like being attacked, and I had missed it because we aren't pausing. I usually play on speed five with pauses. This is killing me. Nah, you know, that's we the can fun. conquer the duchy. Nope, we need illustrious. Okay, we can just conquer a county. Which county? Does it matter? Uh, probably the capital county of the duchy. Usually the best bet. And I don't know that we have time to figure that out. We'll just pick one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine. Hi. I mean, you're driving. I'm just here a passenger. I'm just yes. gonna buckle my seatbelt though. <laughs> <laughs> and and you keep a hand on the handle, you know, like the old person handle when you're like taking tight corners. That's basically me. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're gonna move in. Hey, we're no longer wounded. We did something Easy. good. Well, that <laughs> I guess. Great job, immunity system. Immunological. Oh, we're being attacked. Oh, we have a traitor. Rome in jail. Sure. All right, easy what peasy. Else? We got this. Oh, delicate Howdy affairs. Friends. Guess what? I can handle the king. Hello. It's a five-minute I... warning for you. Oh. Yeah. Let Rose just, clean this up. Just figured I'd come in and hey, let you know you have, have five minutes though. left. So keep going. I'll let you get back to it. Just wanted to chime in and let you know on the time. I'll see you in a little bit. Thank okay. You. Thank you very much. We took the land, we succeeded. Cool stuff. Okay. The more oh. the better. Because <laughs> I think that the limit for Vangian Adventure is five. After five, if you have more counties, then you're not gonna get more troops than five. So let's just keep five so we can declare the Varangian Adventure as soon as we can. Maybe look for the um lifestyle traits that lets us cut the cost in half. Yes, that's a thought speed. I Fire. think it's diplomacy and it's ducal. No, it's uh. No, it's. Is it, uh, maybe no, it's in Marsh Marshall. Marshall. Is it? A, oh, it is in Marshall. Bellum Justum, first it's, one. It's, the first one. Oh yeah. So let's go. There you go. Three Marshall. It's going to be a little bit. Let's see if someone gets it. I mean, we have a pretty on. high Marshall skill, so it should be okay. Mm-hmm. So of course we are an adequate bargainer. <laughs> eh, I guess. Uh, also, I love it. This try is it you. All. Yes, yes, let's eat everything. Oh no. Yes. yes. <laughs> Forgive me, I must find out. Long pork, let's give it a try. Hmm. <laughs> oh, and look, we have a prisoner with like a chunky vine. Hi. And our spy master. The Scots got created. Ooh, is there anyone in our prison? Because we're kind of hungry. Um, Hi. Yeah. Would you like to be eaten? I think that would relieve us some stress. Eh, I don't want to go help your war. Sorry. <laughs> we're having a feast. I think I think that's a useful thing to do. If only we are invited. Oh my god! I'm actually wondering if we if we manage to get in the mechanic where the more people you eat, the fatter you get. I'm wondering if it if it's all gonna like have delayed effect of us just getting fatter and fatter on each prisoner you just ate. <laughs> it would be fitting. Hey, we're almost at a thousand prestige. We're getting a lot, and it paused us again. I did not hit that. No, now we're ill. Oh, great! And he made us even worse. I think we there's something bad that we just ate. Son. Yeah, maybe something no, bad we ate. No, we didn't eat anything bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, well, these people were in prison. <laughs> it's fine. We, we're fine. Oh, cool. Let's read a book. You know, I need to talk with Magna so we can script up, uh, like, uh, so you can gout the more people you eat because your diet is strictly meat-based. <laughs> 
So you get higher chance of getting gout. Mm. Hey, 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 we can take the thing. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We don't have much time. We have to go do before <laughs> Troy kicks us out. Well, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Just declare the war. Just declare the war. We have a minute. Br All right. Brittany. Uh, wait, wait. They are really strong, right? They're really strong. Oh, similar. Mm, okay, right, let's yeah. go. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Not, not, not our problem. Not our problem. Raising the troops. Uh, call allies. Call allies. Oh, yeah. Call allies. Call one ally. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now we wait. <laughs> Excellent. Children like guardians. Oh, here we go. And troops. About to send some. I swear it's been a minute. There we go. Kids, learn something, because I have a feeling something bad might happen to you. <laughs> or to us. <laughs> who's yeah, who's our who's our Lali, by the way? Uh some Yarl. Oh, did we yeah. Oh, we I got guess, another kid to trove for an uh, alliance. That's it. That is all she wrote. No. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, right. time it. is up. Paused. You're good to go. <laughs> How did you feel? Did you did Rose. you feel confident about that one? Oh no, no. no. <laughs> Not being able to pause. You didn't like that. I one? enjoyed it a lot. It was great. And Rose is just like that was that was one of the best micromanaging I've ever seen on Speed Five. <laughs> <laughs> this, that's this, that's this the was, point, this right? Was stressful. The earlier stream was much less stressful than this. Well, I'm, like I'm glad you're enjoying this is though. chaos. Yeah, this is chaos. That oh, is yeah. the point. Welcome, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for both of your times. I uh, hope you have a great well, rest of your weekend. Inviting. Yeah. Rose, how was the uh, how was the big stream? Um, nope, she's gone. That's fine. Seven seals. Who we got next? It was a hell of a lot of there fun. There we go. Good. When you can take Vikings and end them up in Tibet. I mean, what can go wrong? <laughs> Literally nothing could ever go wrong. And Jake, I know you're having fun watching all the festivities and joining us on chat. I see you bouncing around, so yeah, thank you yeah, for I'm being going there. From chat to chat, throwing a, a meme or two, you know? Yeah, if you want to stick around, you know you're more than welcome. This is uh, CK's last panel, I do believe, so not much for us after this. I, I know, another PDX in the books. Rose, I, I know you've got things to do, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for Seven Seals. You did fantastically. I hope my cheerleading distra didn't distract you too much. No, I just like how you like slightly bob left and right. I'm just having fun. Oh, me? Or yeah, like, we're all no, just bobbing. everyone's just kind of like... We're all just I can bobbing. definitely feel I'm like need more right coffee. Ah, oh, look at you. I'm standing, I'm running on two coffees and two Red Bulls. I've been up since 3 a.m. Yeah. And it's 2 p.m. <laughs> nice. Well, I guess I guess that's not true. We're not completely done with CK. We do have the, the We Make Games segment, which does have Oltner in it. So we do get to see Alexander Oltner after this. But gameplay-wise, I think this is our last CK, full CK segment. But I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much. Have a good day or good evening. Uh, Jake, I'll see you online and at work. Rose, I'll see you on the internet, of course. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Rose, for driving. It was great. Next up, we have bah, 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 Koi Fish. Koi Fish is going to be joining us. And who is Koi Fish's special guest? It'll be Zach. That's right. I expect Zach to make so many puns that my ears bleed or I'm going to be devastated. Hey, guys. How's it going? Well, uh <laughs> I'm just trying to to set you up then for devastation because my brain right now. Wow. Really? You, did you he, didn't. But yeah. Pun meter too? Wasn't it he did have a pun meter. Yeah. 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 But just twenty I, in eight hours. That's like weak sauce for me. I think. Uh, it's okay. I'll <laughs> still forgive impressive, you. Still impressive. Oh, thank but you. But are you gentlemen ready to rock and roll? Born ready. Born ready. Well, you, you got left sure. a heck of a mess, and I, I hope you're, you're, you're ready to handle and sort it out. So good luck, and may the, uh, may the game be kind to you, as it were. <laughs> All right. Our character is pretty stressed, right? 
no stress level. But uh, it's been no, they ate know? a bunch of people, so they're fine. And that decreases <laughs> stress, you know. But it still yeah. could use a vacation, right? Yeah. So we're gonna deal so. with this first. We're gonna we're gonna win this prepared invasion, and then I feel like we're gonna yes. go somewhere warm, a warm, mm, and nice place. Really warm. Let's see. Here. Here's the boys. I mean, Brittany is just it's not it's not good enough, right? It's uh, I mean, it's not really not really prime vacation territory, you know. They're allied to France. However, did they think this was gonna work out? Do we just cancel this one and do our own? Huh? Good. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, I mean, we're gonna have to get a gonna lot work. of. Right, because I'm thinking too far to interact with. So if we take... Yeah, be smart here. You really think we can beat these guys? I don't. They have friends. <laughs> Look at it. Great! That's awesome! Right, did we have any allies? One ally. He has... What? Oh, maybe. We'll try I mean, we'll try if it. we are lucky. Oh, if we are lucky, <laughs> we can always just if we land... Yeah, maybe, take maybe, Brittany maybe like, in one yeah. fell swoop and then <laughs> in, in yeah, like I don't two know. seconds. What if we yeah. manage to capture like a son or something? Or maybe the, the dude yeah, himself, exactly. you know? Let's see. Uh, well, we're not exactly the best martial character, are we? Doesn't matter. Oh, unpause, unpause. Probably. Just go. <laughs> there Just we go. go. <laughs> no pausing. Just go. The, t the, the time for. No. Time for action is now. The time for waiting yes. is later. Here we go. Look, it's it's perfect. Oh, we're just gonna do. We're just gonna rock with this. And if we if it if it goes bad, you, just, you know, blame someone else, not me. <laughs> if look, look at look at the big if here. Ah, I think it's more the big if. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Um. Right. So we're gonna do this. Save the troops we have. Yeah. Send them back home. I have another idea. I have a brilliant idea. An absolutely uh, brilliant idea. Hey, you you wanna hear what I think? I think that Hit me. frankly as in Frank. Oh here we go again. <laughs> we're just too much to handle. Too strong. <clears throat> too strong. Let's get the troops Sorry, down. That was, that was that was poor. Alright, let's think here. Um, but I'm rich in love. Weak. I want, want oh. people to know that. Oh that's all that matters, right? <laughs> really? No so what are we thinking? We're thinking... So so what if we uh, scrap the sun vacation and like go skiing instead? The Alps? <laughs> I was thinking more like Norway. Even... <laughs> but that's like taking a step back. <laughs> Where do we want to go sure, to Norway? Sure, but that's life, you know? Isn't that life? Have you been to forward? Norway? Oh, if you've sadly, seen one yes. fjord, you've seen them all, really. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's just... All right. So, maybe Poland is nice these days. Um, uh, I mean, I'm a fan. Tell uh, you what, we're gonna we're gonna I do something <laughs> even better, right? Raise everyone as raiders. Yep, that's good. If we can't permanently live somewhere, you just get a vacation home. I want to hang out with the Pope, yeah. you know. Have you ever been to Rome? Um, uh, no. Uh. I guess I, 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 I just want to say I want to have the Pope for dinner, you know? That would be a nice guest. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, it's, it's a goal. It's just... Oh, boy. What, what's the it, worst that can happen? Ignore it. Why did it pause? Here we go. Uh, uh. Um, <laughs> you, did you hear about the, the, uh, the race car driver who... Who who really Oof. liked uh, you two? Uh huh. Yeah, he blew right Hit past me. them because he's uh, such a fan. <sighs> Can I leave? Can I, I leave midstream? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the race car driver had to do with anything. I just needed a setup, and sometimes <laughs> needed a guy. Uh, you get there, you just need to <laughs> to go. You can do like a lot of raiding. Yep. Get the money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 61, that's decent. Oh man, the 5 speed is absolutely wrecking me. Here we go. I play on 1 speed. I like the immersion, you know? 1 speed? I want speed. to feel, you know, uh, yeah, like it's gonna take the same time in real life as it's gonna take in the game. Okay, Grandpa. 
This is this sort of this sort of like nice relaxed gameplay I want. Not this where it's just pure chaos. Ah. Yeah. And then instead of paying your your gas bill, you go into the backyard, chop down a couple of trees, and just light them on fire in your living room. Of because course. the good old ways are the best ways. <laughs> Instead of instead of paying my taxes, I pay them to like my liege, like the land, the owner of the land. Right. Thank you. Where could we go? And the, the, look, Navarra is under attack. Even. Yeah. They have nothing. Just well, go. But they are attacking. But they have allies too. Pretty strong allies. Let's just. You gotta oh, do something. We have twenty well, well, minutes. Got the boys up. Here we go. Can I up? Let's see here. Let's go with... Oh! Hold up! We can do an Virgin Adventure! What?! I thought they already did that one. Maybe because we cancelled it. Yeah, okay, just... <clears throat> We're going to Spain. Can we? We're going They're to Spain. Inferior. Yeah. Uh, call allies. Oh, wrong button. Here we go. Get the allies in. Thank you. We're gonna kill the Spaniards with the power of friendship. That's uh, the idea. Pick your pick your uh, martial thingy. Can probably get something nice. No, I meant the, the, with yeah. the perk. This one. Yes. Oh, double perks. Under martial. Uh, this one's pretty good. Yeah. No, okay. Well, naval speed. Yes, they have. We have one for this. Boom! Perfect. Perfect. Right. We have the lads. Going to Spain. Have you ever been to Spain? I feel like I'm just gonna keep asking. Have you ever been to this? Have you ever been to this place? I have been to Spain actually twice. I've never, I've never. Have you been to Navarra? Isn't that where the no? I've been live? to the eastern parts, like southeastern. And... Hmm. I don't know. Never Navarra. I wanna, no. I wanna go one day. Oh oh. No. Yeah, you're sheer screwed, man. Oh, the five speed! Oh. And my child has died! <laughs> so I think well, we we're, we're gonna be fine on the chaos front. Well, the lads are coming here, right? All the boys, boys, yep. boys. That should be enough. Yeah, I mean... Plenty if, of chaos. If, if their war just kind of... Here we go. Yes, really that good. fiend. <laughs> the bastard. Come on, allies. Pull through. Just just go for the siege. Don't go for the battle. Go for the siege. I think I, I think that's this. the way to go. Because if, they, if, if they we're lucky, they they'll just... They'll go away. Maybe they won't. <laughs> they just give up. Oh, there's the battle. Oh. Oh. I mean, we gotta try at no. least, right? Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! We had so many dreams, Zach! We had so many dreams! Mm. I guess that's all it's gonna be, you know. Dreams. We, we, we could... Uh, where do people go on vacation in the British Isles? Like, uh, well, here? Spain. They go to Wales? <laughs> Spain! <laughs> no, they do go to Spain. They all do. You're right. <laughs> We tried that, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, I thought we had that. Oh, that was in the bag, man. Um. <laughs> no! All right. Rethink. We can't beat those guys. It's too many. Right? Or, 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 if you don't at first succeed, try, try, try again. again. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, they only have 58 left. Ho, ho. In before <laughs> Mega Stack comes rocking Pro back, I guess. I was gonna say, it's probably just newly raised. Oh, we could go for these guys. What well, is, no what problem. Are you doing? <laughs> I just wanna kill them! Give us a proper chance, you know? Oh. This is not. want to make good. the. I just wanna ruin oh. it for the next person. That's the idea. We're just gonna make it. Okay. Yeah, but we wanna. Oh boy. What could we do to really mess things up? You, you can make yourself losing all your troops. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I have an idea. Different strat, different strat. Gotland. What? The Swedish of paradise. Of course. Of, dude, 
It's great. Don't 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 trash talk Gotland, man. It's nice. It's got cheap. <sighs> it's got it has the, land. <laughs> it has the ringmuir. Ringmuren. <laughs> Ringmuren. <laughs> it's absolute. I, Gotland is great. I've been to the. Um, what's it called? The medieval fair. That's oh, great. Well, let's see. No. Right. We still have the allies. So what if? What if? Lots of what's if here. There's a lot of shade thrown at us. Also, <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, I want the seven scenes, all right? I'm a bit tired, okay? <laughs> What if? What if we just move to Iceland? I just feel like that's what we're gonna do, okay? Iceland is nice. Contrary to its uh. name, doesn't have a lot of ice. Oh, man, this is gonna work. Ice Great strategy. Iceland is nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can ride the the the, the ponies. The the Iceland horses. Great great time. <laughs> Why is it paused? Uh, because you paused it? No, I didn't click pause. It's strictly verboten. I can't do it. Troy's gonna kill me if I do it. Oh. Here we go. Wow! What an ally. Is, Look at that. That is <laughs> 30, 36 so much break help. zones. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a commander, by the way. Would you just like no. not winning battles? Dude, I love it. Haven't you noticed? Oh, there we go. That's enough. Here we go. Here we go, man. Perfect. Perfect. Boom. Game plays itself. Hands off. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're taking... We're taking. No! no are we? Are we actually, actually losing? Disbanded. Our allies disbanded. No! No! And I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> if my goal was to mess up as much as oh, possible for the next person, this is this is so bad, oh, man. I don't think we'll have anything left. Oh, that's perfect. This is. That is perfect. <laughs> We have 49 gold! We have minus 600 prestige. Oh, oh man, I feel like my work here... I feel like I've done what I wanted. I'm an agent of chaos! <laughs> um, Why did all my allies just uh... go? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Is that all we have? Did no one else come and help us? No! I think all our al allies have just given up. Oh no! It's oh. four wars. He's coming in clutch, man! <laughs> he's, Dude, going in clutch. he's going for Why, it! He's going for what? it! Look! You're sitting in Iceland taking, like, attrition. 10% or 5% no. attrition. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah, a little bit, a little bit. It's fine. Uh, just go, Dude, man. This go. The <laughs> These guys are coming in clutch, man. We gotta, we gotta do this. <laughs> Can at least get some champions. I feel like uh, it's it's uh, it's like uh, use. <laughs> there's it's from a movie. It's you use that word, but I do not think you know what it means from <laughs> <laughs> from a princess bride. Yes, yes, of course, of course, man, of course, dude. This is... Oh. Um, I'm as cool as a cucumber. Look what look at this. <laughs> 300 Spartans could do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. That, that, you this, know, is, this is... You know, do you know why the, why the, the, the mail, mail carrier's uh, reminder never, uh, never got there in the end? Why? Because he tell forgot me, to post me. it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I like it. I like it. You feeling, feeling good about that one, buddy? <coughs> Could we? This is you our five-minute warning? You got your five-minute warning, yes, All right. indeed. You're doing, All right. You guys okay. are doing great. This was the play of the game here was, was that trip to Iceland. You know I'm what? Not I, even th mad. This is the curve. And then yeah. we took over. The, the, <laughs> yes, of course. Dude, we are just making it worse. 
I like how he's hovered over directly at the ground. <laughs> I like how I hover over attempt two is like, uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> no, attempt two is a question something. mark. We have to it's gonna leave something. Uh, we have an air. It, all right, boys. I'll let you get back to it, and I'll see you in five minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Minutes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna turn this around. You can marry off someone, which means you can get uh, perfect. An I get some allies. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Thank you. Good track. Good tactic. Alliance power. Yeah. That's one. Thank you, children. Once again, the children is the future, right? That's one. Call to war. Dutch of Iceland. Please. Please, uncle, help. <laughs> mm. Then we're going for the next one. Perfect. Dude, he's gonna clutch it. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's so... Can't dude, it, it, it's nothing to worry about. Why did... Zack, you gotta trust me, man. Do you not, do you not think I'm trustworthy? We're already allied to Jorvik, so take that one, yes, and call them too. Perfect. Quickly. Zack, don't worry, I'm yes. an expert. I'm an, I'm, dude, I've done this so many times. So we're gonna do an exploit called uh, making it call look like you're war. losing, and then call winning, right? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> there! <laughs> you didn't even call them. You're, what are you there doing? There we go. Don't you Iceland. Ding. Hello, go. help. Now we're five speed, and have them come. So we're going to run right, circles right. around the <laughs> <laughs> But what if he just wins the war for me, you know? Uh, yeah, sure. I think that's, the, that's like the biggest force we've had on Iceland. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, I'm Cumbrian a Catholic! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dude! This is it! This is how you play Crusader Kicks! This is the- <laughs> Can you- I, Can someone just- Can someone just post a meme from- from uh, Uncut Gems <laughs> where he- where he cries and then- like, Oh man, is this is lost, perfect! And then, and then he comes over and is like, this is how I win! <laughs> okay, I, I honestly, at this point, I think if we commit suicide, they're gonna be left with a better character. Because I don't want to leave them with this. <laughs> Just do it. Alright, boys. Just... We're taking this way out. Cliff, T. Uh... Oh, we're doing it the Spiffing Brit way. We're 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 Let's drink some lovely tea. Also, we became Cambrian, right? Wait. Oh, the drama at the end. Don't do it. For There's oh, no, it's the daughter. Do to stop me. Oh, please. There's nothing you can do that I've not already done to myself, daughter. I. What? No. You're so I can't even kill myself! I can't even commit suicide! <laughs> Come on! Let me do it again! I can't even kill myself! Oh god, I'm fucking dying! Oh no, that's the opposite. I'm not dying, that's the problem. Oh, Alright, okay, let's take go to Iceland. Man, if this is a sign! Iceland, this is a sign! Take Iceland. They're coming! Look! Yes, go. Uh, Quick. Oh! Quick. Gondor calls for aid. <laughs> Perfect. And what Rohan Perfect. shall answer. <laughs> it's a sign that I didn't kill myself, you know? Quickly. Oh. Yeah, you have to Come hit on. rock bottom before you can hit the top. Oh, look! Look! Yeah, look. We're it's doing it! Easy. Zach! Five look. speed, quickly. Five speed. This will be our legacy. This is what we leave them with. Come on! Oh! Enforce, enforce, enforce. And then quickly, quickly. We're done. Uh, where is it? We're done. I'm going. We're done! This, this is me wiping my... I, I think we're done. Whew. Well, what more can we do? We have Iceland. We could... Uh... <laughs> Alright, boys. That's it. That was a heck of a ride. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how you, you managed to pull that one out, but uh, I'm actually really See, impressed. We did it. So, what so Zach, good, good that we kept to the strategy. We did as we yeah. said. We're gonna trick them into making it look like we're playing bad, and then take Iceland. Yeah, I'm really glad I, you came up I, with this idea before we started. I don't Thank actually you. know yeah, how you managed to pull so. that off, but I'm actually quite impressed. Um, I was dying here I for a minute, like I'm trying back. to eat my lunch and just trying not to choke on salad while you guys are just. 
Whew, that was a thing, all right. No, I think if you go back and watch the replay, you can see clearly in the background. <laughs> yeah, like you see um, how... Yeah. It's, it's a different strategy. So, like, you, you, we took Iceland, which is great. Planned, completely all planned. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Zach, Koifish, thank you yeah. so much for not only doing this, but also handling the seven seals earlier. And Koifish won. Koi fish, pull it out, and one. How do you feel about that? How does your one feel? You can see he brings oh, it every time. I feel, I feel, I feel great, man. It, yeah. I, I didn't expect it. I was, uh, if you think I was messing up now, I think half of my <sighs> seven seal stream was just me messing up the same way, and then for some reason I ended up in Africa. My favorite was sausage, me, a meal way. fit for a king. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> The sausage, <laughs> call me in clutch. <laughs> Stop saying And that. the banana fiber too. Stop saying it. <laughs> no, that's why we're saying this, is because everybody needs to know how clutch that sausage came in. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. Thanks. Um, well, thanks, boys. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> Seriously. Great, great strats. See you online. Adios. Bye. Oh, up next, we have Peachy Inna. And our own Elizabeth, also known as Oxycoon. They will be handling the steering after that just marvelous gameplay, right? Ladies, how do you feel? Oh, marvelous. Too. Marvelous is a word. <laughs> we'll go with that. It was a marvel. That is for just, sure. It was a marvel. I, yes, exactly. Exactly. Oh, and you two ladies oh also God, joined I us for the seven, seven Seal stream. How did you feel? That is very true. Uh, it was amazing. Just, so good. I think it's the best thing I've done on stream in a while. It was mm. fantastic. It was and so much fun. It was just Oxy a with blast. the uh, Oxy with the perfect assistant. I see still going on. Yeah, she's still uh, whapping me over the head with uh, with her swords. <laughs> perfect, ideal, beautiful. Well, ladies, you, you have quite a, a chore cut out for you. I'll let you get to it. So good luck, and I'll see Ooh. you on the other side. All right. Yes. Thanks, Troy. See you soon. All right. So, so got to go fast. Negative, negative gold, negative prestige, and 600 boys. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. So Speed five. Where, let's where? Uh, not let up. Okay. So first things first, are all of our children married? Because that would be good, right? If we could marry them. We're, Let's put it on three speed. Uh, ladies, reminder yes. to not pause the game. I haven't yes. paused anything. I'm watching you. I'm being PG. good. I'm watching. <gasps> <gasps> okay, yes, I think all of, children, all of our children. All of our children. So, plan. Yes, plan. What's the plan? The plan is to find a spouse, first of all, <laughs> that we can have an alliance to. Because then we will maybe save us. We'll send the proposal. It might help. I don't think we can actually go to war because we have negative prestige. And we can't go to war because we have negative gold. So we get sleep married. Sleep with everyone. And we, we... <laughs> we sleep with everyone. Yeah. Can we romance the Pope? How about that? I'm on the board for that. Let's see. Um, I can sway. You're so far away, though. We should just let let everything happen by itself. Okay. Let's go back to us. Maybe we just romance our wife for a little bit, you know? Then we can I have a child. I think we should try to roam. Oh, we don't have a children? Yeah, we should fix that. We should, we should fix that. Yeah. Wait... I actually have never had this much negative prestige in the game. I know, I'm, I'm... testing something. We're, it's fine. It's fine. Everything <laughs> is fine. We're just... Who else, who else is out there in the world that we can do anything with? Does anyone actually like us? No. No? What have we done okay. to be deserve to be liked by people? Wait, this, this guy has plus one. Maybe we should... Offer him a ward. Here. There. Do you like me more? Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Literally, nothing can go wrong. Let's just murder somebody. 
Okay. I mean, I do think the uh, the idea of uh, of uh, maybe we should can piss off someone enough to kill us, so we can. Uh, but we don't have. Do we have an air? Do we even have? We don't mind have a chill, but do we have an air? What? Let's see. Let's go back and. I we think do. This one's our air, we right? We do have an air. Okay. It's up. Good. It's up. Uh, top. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's this guy? He doesn't even like us. Can we grant him a title, maybe? Maybe he'll like us a little more. There we go. Now you have a title, child. I think we can just speed five it, because uh, right now it's just... Let's do it. Like we, we can't do anything because our money and prestige is negative. And everything that's happening, it just keeps giving us more negative. So this is... This is good. Okay, okay. Let's see. Approach uh, Ida tenderly. This band of troops. Okay. We don't need the, the the armies right now. Yes, yes. So tenderly. Get some, some Let's get prestige. some tender love. Yes. Okay, now we're actually gaining prestige. And we're not losing we money. Oh, thank God we have cancer. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, it's too late for me. Too late for caution. Let's do something wild. What, we have one no. leg. But we, we want to we not, we want to drop ourselves. This isn't the we, this isn't I mean, what we want. <laughs> eventually we'll die. We have cancer. It's it's not gonna go good for us. We'll just let we'll just <laughs> let our time come to an end naturally. Oh, but we have a child now. Oh, uh, let's 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 be entertained. Or oh, well, we're swaying her. It was great. We're doing a good job. Uh, da, 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 da. Good. You're in charge. Like us. Sure. I have no need. Oh, no. We're getting into a war. Oh, well. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Rally the troops. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we have died! We no longer have negative prestige. <laughs> That's good! Where are even <laughs> our, our boys? Is this us? You can just click on uh, click on the character in the bottom left you can, to find a, and then you click on the character itself. There we, there we go. go. Okay. Oh, let's fight the rebels. Actually, we, no, All we right. don't have to because the war is gone. The span off. Yay. <gasps> okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, well, uh, I lied. Light. There's. <laughs> we're, we're back to square one. And we can't raise any troops. Uh, raise them in another province. Okay. I gotta slow this down. How about we raise them over here? I'm gonna have to be one of the northern ones because we don't have, uh, we don't control that one. This one, then. Yes, raise them. There we go. Okay, let's uh, go and boot those uh, peasants. Let's Retail. go. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of peasants. Why are there so many peasants? <laughs> Let's just take back our our land first, and then maybe we'll have something to work with. <laughs> I've never seen so many peasants. Actually, I did. How? I think I. They've just been they've just been having some good romance time, some peasant romance, and that's why there's so <laughs> many of them. They keep multiplying. They were like rabbits. That's, all they, that's what the peasants Even, do, is it not? They eat, breed, and uh, make more of themselves. Okay, this is good. Hey, this we is won fine. something! We won! Holy crud! Okay, 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 this is good. Uh, now I suggest we this go raiding. Get some money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's raise our raiders down here. Where did we want to go raiding at? Uh, Anywhere that I mean, will give us gold. Yes. This is a, we'll go to Ireland. That sounds oh, that's like a, a good plan. Big Ireland, though. Che uh, can you check their armies? See how many big armies there are there? Cause, yeah, that, that, though, that's a big army. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe we'll go. Let's see, Desmond. Desmond's only got a hundred. We'll go down there. Yeah, we'll bully Desmond. 
Yeah. Except Desmond for they've already, already been bullied. raided. <laughs> How about this one? We'll go here. Uh, that's still the same one as we got uh, just smashed by Dormant? last time, I think. No, we went up here. There's... Yeah, but that's the Unless same they're... subject. It's the same country. I think it's the same is country. It? Yeah, um, Meath is big. Meath is Well, we're almost meaty. done. Okay, okay, we got it, okay, we got it, we're fine. going home. We're going home. We're making small progress, right? I, I can then, um, I think we should work on our prestige so we can uh, pick some martial traits, go for martial, and then we shall, uh, oh. Oh, what's happening here? Uh, I guess they smashed our raiding army in our own home. No, oh, they're just oh. raiders. Alba they're just us. raiders. Okay. Well, you do that. What I was that. saying is, uh, we should mm -hmm. get some prestige so we can uh, get out of. I guess I do like the idea of getting out of the aisles because uh, <laughs> it's just rainy can. there. Yes. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go back home first of all. Let's check in on how <laughs> we're doing. Do we even have a? We have a spouse. We should take some concubines. Yes. We need children. That is what we need. Some we don't even have Agreed. an heir, so that's important. So I'm gonna seduce. Yes, my wife. Go, go, wife. Be seduced. Uh, pi pi go, Marshall. By the way, we haven't picked a lifestyle yet. Oh, we haven't picked a lifestyle. Okay. Uh, um, strategy, authority, or chivalry. I always like chivalry myself. Uh, Let's do it. All right. Shall we try and go raiding? What about up here? These little countries. I still think like more than us. Um. What's what say you? You have 600. Six. Okay, what about you? 800. I think we own that, so that's good. What's over here? Uh, that looks bigger than what we 1, have. 1000. Yep. All right, that's not that's not happening. We had six k troops like one and a half hours ago. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes these things happen. What's happening? What's happening in Cornwall? We could probably. I think they need to. I think we need to liberate some uh, some uh, some artifacts from Cornwall if okay. we can. <laughs> Just make, From just make sure that to... Uh, yeah. Okay. No, wait, Brittany. Oh, yeah, it's being controlled by Brittany. They can't defend. They won't come. Yeah, they're all the Brittany's all the way down here, so we should be okay to do some raiding. No, 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 no. We are oh, uh, making we sure are to pregnant. Uh, take care of history. Uh, what? We're pregnant. Okay. That's what I thought you said. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful child. All right, we got some gold. We got some prestige. We're going back home. Perfect. Stay, stay perfect, calm and perfect, keep fading. I'm also going to uh, seduce this this other wife. Okay. Let's see. Can we come down here to Devon? Uh, that might be worth we can, it. It's but Wessex. Yeah, Wessex is not busy right now, it looks, so uh, that'll probably end us losing uh, losing our armies. Yep. We'll, uh, oh, we'll get in and out. We'll leave, we'll leave, we'll leave. We'll go, we'll go. You, you didn't see us. Okay, maybe you saw us. <laughs> you saw <laughs> us a little now. bit. It's sexy. Everyone loves, everyone loves a scar, okay? <laughs> We'll go back home. Oh no, a war is declared? What do they want? The earldom? Is that all of our land? Ayrshire. No, Ayrshire Can we just give is... it to them? We can. I mean, that's the, uh, uh, that's the mainland. It's just a small county. We can just give them to it, I think. Well, yes. Yes, then. Give them the land because we don't have. Because we can't, we can't fight that. 
No, we can't fight that. We barely, we just got gold back. I'm gonna disband everybody. And then we'll raise more raiders again. Okay, maybe we can uh, go back to Desmond. Yep, you love embroidery. Nope, that's been pillaged. What about down here? Uh, Ormond. Ormond. Let's Ormond? Just next door. Let's go to Ormond. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Oxy. Let's go. Uh, With you by my side, we can pillage anything. Uh, try to avoid the uh, attrition there in the middle. Okay. We'll go this way. Maybe we can... No, that's that no. big one. No. <laughs> Listen, I was being hopeful. Here we go. Huh? Oh, they're they're, they're big. More than everyone is everyone bigger has than bigger us. Armor. Yeah. <laughs> well, we do have a little prestige. Maybe we can do that. Okay, we're going home. We're trying. We're doing our best, and that's all that matters. Okay. Wives, stop for a second. I don't think there's anyone we can literally pillage. We could try oh. down here. No, I think they're typically in the thousand right now. Okay, okay, LinkedIn, okay. Uh, Gwen and uh, Dan has like uh, 800 and uh, 1,200 typically. Fantastic. Okay, what about over here? East Anglia? They have 400. That's not great. Uh, I think we should disband and just rebuild our armies so we can raid more okay. later. I think that's the way to go. Just let okay, our manpower can... recover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can... Nope, we can't do anything. So... Let's just check in on our wives and our child. Maybe we can get an ally. Sure. Yep. You're ten. Great. All shall know yep. Odin's wrath. Great. That works. Okay, we've got ourselves an ally. That's great. Get some more allies, uh -huh. I think. Don't we need more chill? Oh, what are you? no. no. Uh, I'm declining uh, that. <laughs> I'm not going to war. We don't have anything to do. Okay, I mean, we're we going to get more uh, children. We do get more prestige when we fight uh, as an ally in a war, though. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, as an ally, you gain prestige instead of fame, directly. Mm, but you don't uh -huh. get you only get fame when you are uh, in uh, you are the uh, the war leader. I'm watching you with those long pauses. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sometimes uh -huh. it just pauses. Uh -huh. I'm That's sorry. I'm watching you. So it's just so Make strange sure that all again. these wars have been declared against us. I know. There's so much <laughs> happening. Okay. That's a five minutes. We're gonna control. try to go back to Desmond because Desmond hasn't been raided. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Uh. Oh yeah, uh, I no, think we have I truces. Raised... Them, I think. Okay. I think we got truces and stuff like that when we raid. Okay. So, well, uh... let's just mosey on over here. Unless I accidentally raised them as soldiers and not raiders, which is very possible. Uh, yes, you let's, did. Let's disband and try again. <laughs> oh, hey, but look. Look at all these beautiful children we have. We're going to do something, and we're going to get alliances. Okay. And this child needs a spouse. I'm just setting it up for the next group so that they can have... Oh, yes. ...plenty of alliances. They will not be burdened. So Except. we should accept them? Okay. Yes, because we need to find Ladies, prestige. By the way, if I wasn't clear, this is your five-minute morning, so... Oh, thank you, thank just you. Just letting you know. Yes, disembodied right. voice. We hear you. Thank you. Yes. I'm accepting. Okay, I would like... Can I just get rid of all of my... So we're at war, so we can't do any raiding. Okay. Uh, raise the well, arms, what though. We, we do, need to fight in the war. We need to... Okay. Raise, oh. Well. We that need to raise the arms. That was probably not the greatest time fighting. to raise. 
Uh, we can get the, the arms are raised up north. That's fine. Um, okay. Who are we fighting? I, yeah. Who are we I, don't I don't even know. know where we're fighting, but we need Let's, to fight uh, some back battles. Out. Oh, down here. Okay. Yep. Oh my god, the events just keep. Let me do something. Okay. Um, oh, we're in the middle of the battle. Oh, but that's fine. We uh, they, they took a bad crossing, so. Uh, <gasps> Hello, Prestige! Hello! Okay, okay, okay. 300 Prestige. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, let's go down here. That's some good teamwork, Oxy. Thank you. You're helping me. That's a... Uh, yeah, we can, just, we, we can just stick around here. We're gonna stick here. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so be it. Uh, I think we're not going to lose them anymore. I don't know, but this, we did disband all. We're not at war anymore. We did get a lot of prestige from that. Good, 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 good. Uh, we just we need more gold points. now. We have lifestyle point. Get uh, the uh, the the Cassus belly one, so we can uh, get cheap. Uh, bottom left. Bottom left. Where are you directing me? Then that one. Lifestyle. There we go. Okay. Uh, Thor. Great. What and do we want now? And then we can now? take whatever. Uh, it's, it, the rest doesn't matter. We just want the uh, the castle's belly reduction. Now we can uh, go over Rengun Adventure. I think we can go over Rengun Adventure now. Where did you want Sell to tells go? up for success. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Let's see. We can we get more just gold. Pick. Let's just raise some more raiders. Yep. Oh, we've got another child. I'm good with children. Excellent. Okay, great. Our rival is dead. Okay, let's do some more, get some more gold, because we have negative gold right now. We've got plenty of prestige. Yep. Let's go raid then. Let's go back to our favorite uh, locale, Desmond. Nope. Ennis is good. Nope, Ennis is uh, also. Nope. Oh, we are, we're fighting fighting a <laughs> god. Yeah. This is... All right, it's fine. Scotland, Scotland is wrecking. Would you just wrecking leave us alone plans? for one second? <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying to go into the ocean. Okay. It's like clockwork. We're going. Let's go raid, and here comes Alva. <laughs> yep. All right, we're going back down to Cornwall. Cornwall was successful for us, so I'm hoping it's going to be successful again. Yep. Good old Cornwall. Okay, well, uh, uh, we're going to go home after this. Yes. I think that's a war, that's a war directly against us. We should call in allies. Yes, let's call in our a... allies. Okay. Please help us. Please help us. Also, yes, I will take your 10 gold. Okay. Okay, we've got allies now. That's good. We did us I a good thing. we had thing. more than just two. Uh, let me double check. I only saw, see the two. We'll get another concubine. While we're at it. Okay, where did our little troops go? Okay. Here we go. Let's disband you because we need to fight an army. No, it's fine. Just we just okay. leave them be. They we'll will be become then. normal soldiers. Just bring them home and uh, bring them to heal against our enemies. Um, maybe. Our giant enemy forces. Okay, we'll raise everybody. I don't even know what the okay. war well, goal ladies, is, but let's go. That's it. Well done on your <laughs> I'm pausing start. it. You, you turned it around Thank from you. negative 1,200 prestige to 587. <sighs> I don't know how I you think did that's, it. That's, that's a win, right? <laughs> you that's, confused that's Matt as well. Matt doesn't even know how you did it. It's impressive. <laughs> We're both impressed. We're I got us impressed. some allies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you for... Dealing with us in that stressful moment. 
thank you for being here. I'm so glad both of you were in Seven Seals, and now you did String of Kings with me. I couldn't ask for two better ladies to join me on both of those, and I'm so glad you were Aww. here. All the ladies that joined us today are Thank fantastic. You. I'm so glad Rose got to come mm -hmm. in earlier. She was fantastic, always, eternally, so full of knowledge and life. That and was impressive. And yeah, and you two ladies, oh, what a pair. You saved the entire run. It's it's magical. Aww. I'm literally impressed, so Go on. here we are. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm going to watch Matt have an aneurysm while he tries to turn off tooltips uh, because he's he's literally <laughs> having a stroke in front of me. He's turning redder than he normally is, so that's saying something. Oh, sorry, Matt. We were but too busy to deal with the tooltips. Yeah, I know. That's what they I told him, and he just kept turning up. redder and redder and redder. It was terrible. <laughs> but thank you both so much. I'm going to hand over control to Matt now. Um, and we'll get him All in right. here in a second. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for having Bye. us. Bye. Yeah. So next up will be Matt and one proud Bavarian. Matt's actually going to take over for me. So I'm going to hand him control here, which means I'm going to step out of the stream. I got to get mic'd up. I'm heading to the home studio after this, but he'll be taking over for me. Oh, wait, we're getting a selfie. There we go. We got a selfie. We're good. But. I'm going to head over to the home studio, let Matt steer, and I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, and then... All right, cool. Nice. All right. I have faith, and I'm now going to fix this thing that's peeved me for so long. I'm going to turn off the reactive advice. There we go. All right. So, and now uh, back with us again, we have one proud Bavarian who is going to be trying to not shame me too hard for my lack of gameplay skills, right? Right, right man? Man, I already had three mental breakdowns watching this chaos. I, I don't think anything can happen anymore, but I I do need you on your best uh, skill level because we need to go on with a bang. I, I need All us right. to migrate, okay? Can, can we get out of here? We have can, to migrate? Oh my goodness, just setting yes. us up. I don't even know where we are. We, we're, walk, we're fighting. <laughs> Things are happening. <laughs> my stress levels are going up and up. Oh my goodness. What is this All war right. about? Uh, this is a war, some conquest where... Defending, we're sieging their capital. Um, I think we're the defender. No, that's it's us. Suited. It's the islands up there. Ah, oh, no. Oh. Ah, okay, you gotta peace out. Peace out. We need, we need the troops, please. We, I'm dying. It's, I mean, we can I surrender. We're not gonna win that. We're not gonna win that. <laughs> Matt. All right, I'm surrendering. I'm surrendering. Break the cycle. I'm surrendering. Okay, okay. I did listen. it. What's our yeah. land? Here, this is us. We are this tiny land. And Iceland. Right. And Iceland. And we, we Iceland. Iceland. Why are we, we Iceland? Strong. All right, where do you need us to migrate to? Uh, oh, okay. Can we go a bit further south? Just looking at it. I'm having a, I'm having trouble looking at it right now. Forget about the forget about the council. They they in 20 minutes they all deleted the safe game. That's goes. true. All right, where um, are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We can't invade any of these. They're all too powerful. Uh, can you look at uh, Denmark and stuff? Is, is anything in Scandinavia where we can go? A uh, little baby Shetland. Uh, uh, there, there's a couple. Of, we, we, we just go home. Baby Listen, counties. Our Ragnar came here. We just go home. Yeah. Uh, in right, Norway. I, I saw individual counties. All right. We need to beat the trend here, please. I'm, I'm dying. You can't yeah, declare get, get war while in debt. All right. We're earning Let's zero What's gold. Nothing. We have no money. We earn nothing. Um, why do we earn no money? What happened? Um, My daughter, okay. Do we have men at arms? Are they costing pre prestige? Not even gold. Why don't we... What's happened? Oh, everything's bad. We have no county control. Okay, I need that. I need that oh, marshal. No. Best marshal we can. Raise the county control. Oh, my goodness. All right. Can we go right island? There, there must be just a single count. Not, uh, not a duke. Leave the dukes alone. They're gonna dunk on let's, us. Let's uh, raise all our raiders. My, I've, I've had so much caffeine at this point, um, and my stress levels uh, are humongous. You can, you can get Desmond. I'm, I was gonna. Oh, this is Brittany, and there's nobody here, so I'm gonna. You I'm can try it, but if they spawn next to us, I take no responsibility. You got it. Easy. Okay, we have 15 gold now. Uh, we can go get Desmond as well. Continue. We need every little penny we can get. Returning from the Vanguard God. Welcome home. Good to see you. Great guy. Right. Love oh. the guy. We got him. No worries. Well, we got them. All right. There we go. Let's we go. Him. Beat him up. Get him out of here. Okay. Let's go home. Let's just go home. We just need the money. We immediately invade somewhere else. 
Ignore the rest. Yep, yep. All right, all right. We have. All right, there we go. We have gold. Disband. Perfect. Uh, where do you want to go? go let's, uh, we, we're going back home. Uh, we're going back 300 home. troops. Let's go. Let's take out this guy. Sounds uh, perfect. Yeah. Well, conquer conquer uh, county. Let's go. All right, we're gonna take this one county. Oh, that's a tiny province. That's a tiny, <laughs> tiny, get tiny. Co let's get the slightly bigger one. Let's go. Oh, all let's right, get vastly the inferior. One. Let's. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, 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 panic, panic. I am panic. You got, this. you got this. I believe in you. Oh, I, what I, is? I, uh, it's so difficult to just watch Anton's gameplay. <laughs> it's it's difficult to you play Anton's gameplay if that makes you feel any oh, better. I believe you. Oh, no, Leviathan. The, the oh, one. Uh, 50 gold, 50 gold. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, the perks. Uh, uh, Organized march. Yes, sure. Let's go. Uh, my son, don't care. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. All right, siege, siege, siege. Who's the other guy? Who's, who's, who's? Someone is, uh, this is my war. This Somebody is also my war. County. Someone's, who, who are you? I don't know. Don't and care. North We're going to get this. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We're going we're gonna to migrate. We're migrating. It's okay. We got this. <laughs> Your silver tongue. Oh, thank you. All right, all right, all right. Siege, war, you captured migrated. The all right, migrated. Where do you want to go now? Easy. Where are we going? We want to go Rory. all the way around. Um, uh, can you can you go further to Finland? Uh, I can. Let, let's, I just can't. Let's just get out of here. I can't disband my. Oh, there we go. It's over here. I need to move. We can go to Finland. My daughter. Don't care. I don't care about my Actually, children. Sure. I don't care about my family. Oh, we, go, yeah. uh, we can make this uh, our capital. The, the rally point. You, you can you make gotta, this yeah, 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 you uh, gotta change the rally point. Uh, where's the capital oh, button? Oh, we can't do it. We can't oh, do it. Third wall. Who's who's finest? Who's finest? <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> we can do this. All right. We can we can just move the uh, rally point. Rally Let, point. Let's I'll go fill it. Karelia. Let's go Karelia. Karelia, uh, which is where? Oh, these uh, are so. Uh, this is so cursed. Uh, how's Goa? Like no, uh, Inari. This I one? see Inari. They're coastal. Inari. No, no, no. Inari. Coastal. One. Get him. Get him. 200 troops. Get him. Brand good adventure. Trash. We can't do it. No, uh, no, no. Regular Conquer county. Regular Conquer county. county. Let's go. All right. Yeah. We're going to Russia. Hype, hype, hype. We're going to Russia? We, we gotta go out on a bank. This is the last CK3 gameplay in PDX zone, and we're gonna, we're gonna just all lose? No way. Thanks for stressing me out even more. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for saying that one. All right, let's go. Uh, wait for wait let's for the penalty. No, wait, no. There we go. Thank now. you. I was almost. I <laughs> there we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. Got him. All right. Uh, siege. 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 <laughs> uh, more marshal. Give me more marshal. Uh, head, head and run. Yeah, let's do it. Siege. Siege faster. Uh, my pa paddy. <laughs> Level of fame is, and perfection. your alliances. Don't care. Victory. Win. Win. We won that war. Easy money. Siege, 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 oh, siege. Who's that guy? I don't know. It doesn't matter because we've won. Enforce demands. All right. Uh, All right, get out of here. All right. We can make this our capital now. If you, I don't know if that does anything. Yeah. Doesn't Let's matter. Do it. Doesn't matter. Let's go. All right. And now, how are we going to do it? Oh, look at that. Th that looks good. Th this, this, this little baby. Stuff in there. This is a little baby right yeah, here. Absolutely. Right, oh, he's go. allies. He got allies. He got allies. Ooh, he does. No, yes, no, that's he got allies. He's gonna murder us. All of them have allies. They're all allied to each other. <laughs> this guy, this guy's got one um, ally. Yeah, finish band. Let's get him. All right, and we can we can do like Perfect. full migration. No, no, it, it just wastes it just wastes time. Don't worry. All right, just, just, just county regular county. We're gonna conquest. do a ring intervention later. All right, he, he just uh, got uh, one county. Uh, 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 uh. Stress, stress, stress. All of my stress. <laughs> this is my, the, the, I can feel the Red Bull pumping through my veins as I just mad rush to do things. You Prematurely, child died. Don't care. This. Child died. Who cares? We don't need kids. We just need war. We need fighting. There's no future for us. Twenty minutes. That's all we got. Go, go, go. Siege, siege, siege. Wait. Oh, right, you captured him. War one. Pause. Let's go. End. End. All right. Where are we going now? Godlike. Oh where, my where god. Where now? Where now? Where now? Where do you want? Can we go along the river? Along the river? Do we, do we uh, see anything? Yes, we can. Easy target. Uh, this guy maybe. Oh, they're also big. Small. And Kazaria. Oh my god, they're huge. Oh, we're gonna get next to the chunky Kazaria. That's 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 a lot of troops. Can we declare troops. against? I don't think I think they're too far. I don't think we can Who? declare against Who? them. You know what? Let's just go the Baltic coast. We can go for everybody. <laughs> what, 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 you want to go back in? You want to go back in? What, j j this little this one. Yeah, we're, we're just turning just around. Here? We're just doing a drive by. It's a it's a drive by. All right, we only have Orangian adventure, adventure at this point. We don't have any other CP. <laughs> oh, he's not coastal. Um, uh, uh, can you go uh, this, this guy's coastal. The, Metal. Call of, no, no. Okay, works. He got one man. It, it's just him. It's just him. Take him. He's got one guy. We can we can take one guy. All right. Uh, I'll just unpause. Rally point. Boosh. Boosh. Raise all. Let's go. Speed. 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 All right. All right. Mate, you sail, are sail moving worlds right now. We are moving my heart at a very rapid rate. That's what we're moving. It's excitement that you sometimes Terrible just need. It was a slow weekend for you, right? PDX when you were not really. Yeah. Busy. Yeah. It was really chill. I wasn't doing too much. Yeah. It was. It was fine. It was fine. 
I, I understand. Right, let's go, 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 go. There's no speed six. I can't go faster. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 uh. Conquest done. All Perfect. right, nailed it. Where do we go now? Where do you want? What are we doing? Uh, I would say we, we could try and go down the, through like you know? these rivers down here. Ta I don't, I don't think they, do they let us? Can we declare war against them? Probably with Rengian. This guy. Um, can you? Can we check? Can we go to just like Crimea or something? Uh, like, can we just yeah, jump in the I know where that is. Let's oh, that looks against the Byzantines. What about what about uh, Romania? Buzau. Uh, Buzau, yeah, uh, this one. Let's see. Yeah, Declare can we, war. Can, we can uh, he, he got allies. Adventure. He got allies. If you want, and we get we get some troops, right? We get some troops from Varangian Adventure. Uh, let's yeah, I think so. All right, which uh, let's we go, can go for down the, the, river. the, the bigger duchy. Five hundred prestige. All right, we don't have five hundred yeah, prestige. Matter. We're going. We're we'll go. going negative. No, we're going negative. You can still go. Oh, okay, I can still we, go. We, we can go. still go. Right. You're just going negative. Yep. Declare war. Easy. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Uh, Oof, we need to go. move our rally point to uh, here. Uh, Look at the Viking adventurers there. Raise, raise. Come on, let's go. Let's go, lads. Let's, lads. All right, let's go. Oh, look at uh, it. That's an army. And we can boat it down to here. I think. Nope. We. Oh, we're, we're taking the scenic route. Red. We're Hello, taking Russia. a we're taking a nice scenic route down here. Your dishonor came at a cost. Don't care. This better uh, work. Where's my army? I lost it. Where are my Viking yeah, where, adventures? Where Why the are they up oh. here? Why are they up there? No. Uh, no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, all right. This army can. It's retreating there. It's fine. We can uh, we can get back into the the sea. Once we're on the ocean, we're safe. They're coming. They're going. They're going. Allies? Get Why on are a they boat. Walking? Get on a boat, you bastard. They're, okay, they're sailing now. All right, all right. My son, don't care. Family's overrated. Let's go. Uh, another Marshall Perk uh, envelopment. Sure, let's go. Go, 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 go. Uh, I don't know whether we can... We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, we not got it, we not got it. We really not got it. Mm, that stung, that really stung. Uh, you flattered me, my lady. Oh, yeah. uh, run, 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 run. Yep, nope, didn't, didn't, uh, nothing, nothing happened. Uh, let's, let's just, yeah, let's just walk, uh, around down here. We should have gone for the small one. I don't think That's we should go back there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think you might be right, but, uh, a little bit too late. Uh, don't know who we killed. Uh, that's a lot of people. These are not even the Ooh. our enemies, I don't think. If These we just wait for those, people. he's, he's fighting our enemy. If he's fighting our enemy, we could swoop in. No, okay, they just finished the war. Well, yeah, mm, mm, okay. Um, <laughs> right, let's well, just, uh, well, we got a, uh, well, out of, a, out of supplies home. as well, so let's just, uh, we can just go uh, chill out back at one of our homes. Let's just go, let's go sit down here, yeah, let's just chill. Just uh, refresh that supply, you know? Yeah, there we go, perfectly. Chill, chill, perfect. perfect. There we go, speed five. Wonderful. Supply, supply, men, men, reinforcements. There we go, we're nearly there. Once we hit like 1,200, 1,300, uh, whatever our max is. We can. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't care. I don't, yeah, I don't know whether that's enough. Oh, but peasant revolt. Yeah, no, just give him autonomy. Just give him autonomy. Tax it. Do it. It doesn't matter. Who cares? We we we, we don't need it. Let's go. All right, go go. Taxes. Go, go, go. We we don't do taxes here. That's uh. You became the new head of the dynasty. Of course I did. Cause I'm awesome. Uh yeah yep. Indeed. Come of age. Our wonderful child. Uh Marshall. Yep. Living off the land. Let's do. It. Go 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 go. Uh in there. And then we're gonna just go straight. Do not attack into the mountains. I swear we'll actually die to stress. There's there's nobody there's nobody in there. Okay, okay. There's nobody there. Yeah. It's, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I don't know where they are. How many people are they? I don't know. Uh, decline. Uh, where are they? Where, where did they go? Oh, this looks good. No, I, I, no I, way. I, I, this can't decline. actually work, right? Surely not. We, I, uh, uh, Get him. Um, let's do it. Okay, let's okay, go. We got this. We let's got go. This. Before you attack, get supply back. Just, just chill out. Yep. Once I, once I've uh, seized this down, I'm gonna chill. Get We're some supply. Now. All right, that's a lot of the... Just oh, see I, I, we got oh, it. You, oh, just ignore oh, it. Oh, what yeah. the... Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. What What are they doing here? Uh, let's... Wait, we can... Let's cut cut this guy. If we get this guy, we can we can win. The battle... Let's the war go. Score. Good, good war. Good battle. Good battle. What an actual Nailed it. clutch victory. Nailed it. Actual... Ah, oh, our color. Oh. Uh, also, wait, wait, is what that our there? color? Wait, is that us? Why is it... <laughs> What is that color? <laughs> Nordic. <laughs> what the? Why is that color? Beautiful. This That's is the perfect just end. disgusting. And we're number one. Have, you, have you seen our COA? Have you seen our coat of arms? We're number oh, what? one. Number one. All right, where do we go now? Where do we go now? OPP, where are we going? We got like uh, 10 minutes. Where are we going? Uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm just happy we made it somewhere. Can we? Uh, can you look around? Is there any? 
<laughs> I didn't even think we'd make it here. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Else? So many things. All right, let's see. Let's see. I think next to Croatia and the south at the coast, I think there's something independent or is that Benevento? That's Benevento. Oh, that's Benevento. Uh, get it now. We can get we one of these little that. baby just... counties though, with like mini allies. I don't think uh, we can, can we? Yes, we can. We can do anything. That? Let's have a look. Make uh, it work, you got this. We can we can county conquest. Uh we don't have much prestige, but who do cares? It. No, get right, it done. Let's... Do it. Yep, yep. Negative go. prestige means nothing, it's just a number. Prestige it's is just like a number. Expansion. Yeah. Alright. You gotta be Let's go. you gotta be real wary here because they got they got more troops and this is mountains. I, I trust fine. your genius, your, your tactical yeah. genius. Yeah, yeah, my tactical something or other. Mm, oh, that doesn't look great. That doesn't look great. Well, we're gonna go for a cheeky detour. <laughs> Take their ally out. Dynasty had changed. Don't care. Don't care about my kids. Who cares? Let's go. Just go. Speed. 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 Did, Thanks wasn't for that share. Wasn't Bandra just born yesterday? Who knows. Or oh, here no. they come. You gotta get out. Uh, gotta get out. They're go we're gonna be. Don't be on the foot. Don't be on the foot. That's more. That's the most important thing. I know. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm marching around. I'm going. Let's. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah around. Around. Around here. Stay in non um, fort mountains. They. They might attack us. There's. There's a lot of fort everything's. Uh. Let's just chill here. No, in no, prison. Oh in no. In the, what? In the we have been imprisoned. Uh. Let's. Uh. What escape from prison. Escape from prison. Yeah, no bars could hold me. Oh no. We're now we starved. Not rot in you. Oh well, okay. All right. Uh, well, that's uh, that's uh, oh, 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 okay. We lost all of our land. Um, most oh, of our land. Oh, we're subjugated. We're subjugated. Some of our land. Now. By who? Uh, Alba. All right, that's fine. Doesn't matter. We can still. Hmm. So These Alba is now in Romania. That's good. Bo good borders. These people are just chilling, and it's it's. I don't know. All right, let's. Can we? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think. Lessons from the past. Don't can we get care. any allies? Is, is there anybody? Uh, we, we got kids. I... We ignored them, but they exist. Oh, that's a lot of attrition. Let's not do that. We we have kids. We have a lot of kids. Uh, which ones? Then. Some of you. All right, spouse. Give us allies. Uh, sort by alliances. All uh, on own nephew. Um, that I guess. is horrible. Sure. Wow. Let's let's go. Our son. Let's go. Nobody. All right. Other daughter. Another daughter. This daughter. Marry. Marry. Go. 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 Yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Allies. So many things. Call oh them my in. gosh. Oh, we could have uh, called dynasty members. Call them all in. They're, we're all going to Croatia. This is like a party trip. Lads on tour, lads on tour. Ah. Panic. You, Northumbria, go. You, Northumbria, go. You, king. Trial by combat. And now do we, we have wait. any prowess? We do. Give me gold. Fight him. Get him out of here. Do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So many pops. Oh my god. Pop ups everywhere. Everything's a pop up. May the best man win. Uh, 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 maggot. Something, something. Uh,. You'll no never see this success. coming. That, that um, um, very high likelihood of success. Let's mess him up. <laughs> Single card. Victory! Nailed it. Trial by combat. Give me your money. Got there him. we go. Wrecked. Easy money. GG well played. Uh, siege. Siege. Yes. Supply. Who needs supply? Supply is just a number. A very Can't low number. Attacking you. Oh, there they are. Look oh, at here we go. Look the fam's coming, coming in. The, the disgusting pink. Alright, supply. Supply. We supply. Wait a bit longer. Unexpected wait a bit visit. Longer. Uh, yeah, you can do something. I uh, don't care. Supply, supply. Oh my god, I don't care about your culture. Go away. Why are we... Where are the other allies? Uh, taking up our supply. Uh, something, something. Are these all of our goal. allies? Uh, maybe. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's, 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 uh, just come on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Just walking away. <laughs> Join us. Let's go. There we go. Nailed it. Wrecked. Oh. oh, wow. You actually nailed it. Clutch victory. Marshall, you let's go. You come in literal go. master of the game and you try to downplay yourself. I can't there we this. go. All right, victory. Let's go. We're now in Croatia. Easy. We are everywhere. GG, we well played. Uh, I don't even know where to go to next. I'm pretty sure. Aren't we a vassal, a vassal of Scotland? We are. Well, that is. We're a we're a, a <laughs> vassal. What, in... what did we create? Uh, let's can go. Can you zoom let's... out and just look at Scotland for yeah. a second? We just can. Like, we got clicks, five minutes left Scotland because we're everywhere. We can have a look at what the oh. the borders look like now. We, we're in here, here. And there, we've. I think we lost our land in Prussia, and yeah, lost our land there. in Finland, and no, like we. So we. Where did we start? Because I didn't fully watch the stream. We can use this last in, in few Syria. minutes to de to you know, de, de stress and find out where we came from, where we ended up. Because this is crazy. Where did we start? On this map, we were Eva the Boneless, a beautiful, strong Eva. We lost all we, of our we troops were? in various battles. <laughs> yes, we were. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we lost like three of our sons. We, there was there was Manon and me, and then it, it just went downhill. It went very far downhill. But we are now um, in Croatia, 
that I don't know how you even Beautiful got this color. disgusting color. It's it's just so horrifying. <laughs> we we hip top around the from like what the the Isles to Norway, Finland, Russia, uh, Baltics, then what Romania, it's all Croatia. Part of the plan. It's this has been a. This has been an, an adventure. Wow. Okay. Thank you for your belief in me, man. We have no prestige left, but that's okay. GG. Game's over, nearly. We we have so much money. Wait. Can you actually? Can we? Could we declare like any war? We we can't even get mercenaries. They can be stronger. Can we just go to Italy? We're just gonna become Normans. Yeah. Let's just go. go to the, uh, the classic to what? thing. What, attack Spoleto or something? No, Benevento, please. Spoleto Benevento. will murder us. Benevento declare oh, war. They got Scotland as an ally. Okay. Who cares? Yeah. Do it. Uh, let's, let's get something in in Italy. Salerno looks Apulia. Uh, Apulia, Sounds great. Yeah, that's the classic. Hire some right. mercs. Uh, Let's get in there. Let's uh, rally point quickly over to here. Raise all mercenaries. All hired, hired, hired. Hire. That's fine. We don't need money. Easy. Money's for nerds. Oh, look Group at these up. troops. Apulia, let's go. Can't believe they're not there, yeah? Let's get... Okay, well. All right. Was was nice playing. Yep, there we go. No, no, we, 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 mm, all right, mm, mm, mm. that's good. That that stung, that stung a little bit. That uh, was pretty close. Good try. We got unlucky, we got unlucky. The game is right. rigged. Game's rigged. Uh, should we convert to insular Christianity? What do you think? No, but we will also probably get in prison. But that's just how we, that's just how it goes. That's how we roll, deliver a speech. We love the speech. We love the army that's killing oh, us. Well. There's so much on my screen at one time. I can't see anything. Child of my dynasty, I don't care. Sail around, sail around. Grow up. I don't. Grow up. I don't think the clicking on it plan is working. I think we just walk in and die every time. Well, they have four thousand troops. So that would explain a lot about that. This is a full New air, air oh, died. All right. You know what? Maybe we should consider that white piece uh, or surrender. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. That, it's it's a it's definitely a draw. It was a yeah. One. That was a draw. It was, a it was actually a white piece. Yeah. It just that you didn't see it. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, that is uh, pretty much the end of the gameplay segment here. Um, thank you very much. We we did pretty well. Um, now I can zoom out and breathe. <sighs> I wasn't even looking at like to see your face. I was just like screen staring, <laughs> full <laughs> panic mode, heart going. Oh my gosh, that was like the most stressful thing I've done <laughs> in like the last. You did week. extremely well. That was uh, that was pretty good. So yeah, thank you to everyone that uh, joined us to run this little uh, succession game, so to speak. Uh, Twenty minute slots. So we did pretty well. Like OPB, you started us off with Magna, and it started all right. A little hectic, but uh, you know, I think you guys did all right. <laughs> you did all right, yeah. And then, you know, just sort of downhill from there, especially when Zach took over, that's really when things started to go downhill. But uh, yeah, I want to say a uh, big thank you the to all of the influencers and uh, developers that you know took part in this. And thank you, everyone watching from home. Uh, thank you again, OPB, for joining me on this wild ride and making sure I didn't have an actual heart attack live on stream. <laughs> um, and curse you, Troy, for making me do this. I can't believe you had this idea. That's just, it's just, that's that's all I've got. This, this, I need a nap now. I need a nap. Or another Red Bull. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for joining. The last of our CK3 bits here for PDXCon that we're running. Uh, so goodbye, everybody. Thanks. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's we, been a long day. We had to have the very last joke be the very, very, very worst one. It was really bad. I'm almost crying a yeah, little bit. Yeah, see that. Don't Ooh. cry. You'll ruin your makeup. <sighs> I'm fine. I got the vapors. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh, oh, oh Lordy. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yeah. How Ooh. do you How do you feel about today? How's today been? Today Today been good, dude. Yeah. Yeah. How how was the how was the, the 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 Kings thing? It was really hectic. I don't know if you guys <laughs> caught how hectic it was. It went completely off the rails in like four different ways. I did. I not think. Expect. I think. Didn't you have like minus eight hundred and something no, prestige? No, it was minus twelve hundred at one point. <laughs> <laughs> she got all the way down to like negative oh. one thousand one hundred eighty-seven. I don't what know. What happened? Not only that, but like literally the next segment, they got it up to five hundred and eighty. Yeah. Like, how did you get a at like a seven? 1,800 point swing. <laughs> I felt like I looked Nuts. away from like half a second trying to moderate the chat and then I look up and it's like suddenly like minus yeah. triple digits. Yeah. Yeah, Zach and Koi Fish just <laughs> tanked it, took Iceland and then all of a sudden yeah. everything was terrible and then Anna yeah. and, and Elizabeth took over and saved the world. I and mean, then, pray, I mean. Right, right. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Yeah, and then immediately handed it over to OPB and Matt, and they took all the credit for it. So. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. So what have you been your, sav- your, your favorite parts of this weekend? There's been a lot, but i got to pick one. Pick one. I had to pick one. I'll give you a one with a follow-up. Do I, can I pick? I mean, I want to pick the award show because it was, like, yeah, just fun. the hype and the all of the excitement. And yeah. to finally get to be, like, I mean, the little reveal we didn't yeah. ask for once. That was kind of yeah. cool. That was fun. I like that. That was int- you, that was my funnest. That was the funnest. Mine? Yeah. Mine was the friends and adventures we had along the way. I couldn't have done this without the community. Yeah. 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 Well, okay. If I if I had to boil it down to a specific panel, though. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know. That's a that's a <laughs> difficult. I I should have thought about my own question before I asked it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Obviously, I'm going to pick one of the CK3s. Yeah. I want to say the reveal of Royal Court, but mm-hmm. that's kind of a cop-out answer because that was just, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was going to be yeah. good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if I had to pick a favorite, I think I would go with the String of Kings, the one we just did. Yeah, because, as exhausting as it was. Right. That was my team. That was my community. We got all of those people together in the one place. Yeah. And we had fun and we laughed. And I felt that we had a, a long road full of stress, full of, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. all these things that could have gone wrong and might have gone wrong and did go wrong there mm-hmm. at the end. And then we finally got to play. Me and yeah. my community, me and my team, me and my friends. We got to play our game and show how great it can be and how wild of a ride it could be. Yeah. And that sounds like a really corporate answer. <laughs> Right. So you turned on PR, Troy. I did. For that. A second? Hello, I am a community manager. Yes, officially. But at the end of the day, that's what this is about. That's why we're at PDXCon, right? Is to make memories, and that's yeah. very memorable for me. Yes, we make the games. We do make the games. That's true. I make the stories. So never you, mind. I'm, no, I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna give you it. I refuse to give trying it to you. Trying to make you finish my sentence. No, I'm not gonna do it after that. We're not Mario winning Kart. that hard. After that. After that Mario Kart <laughs> fight. <laughs> We finally had our Mario Kart well, battle, and well. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, you know, you don't have to talk about all your losses. You only talk about your wins. Just because you cheated doesn't make it a win, all right? <laughs> Cheating does not make you a winner. It makes you a cheater that happened to be in first. Well, you know, whatever happens, it's the end that counts, okay. right? All right, all right, I see you. I remember this. <laughs> we'll have a rematch next year. Yep. Next PDX Con, you and me, man. It's not, we're not going to do any actual work. We're no. Just- Play Mario Kart for That's like it. three days. Yeah, three okay, days I'm, in, I'm, in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, just like this time, we definitely just played Mario Kart the entire time, <laughs> right? No work. <sighs> <laughs> Speaking of work, I do yeah. have one panel left. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Talk about yeah. it. Uh, I have the, the... We're interviewing some of our favorite game designers from the Grand Strategy segment. Yeah. Sadly, not all of them, but some of our mm-hmm. favorites. Um, yeah. To hear their insight, their takes on what Grand Strategy is, the shape of the entire genre, and mm-hmm. possibly the future. So yeah. I'm really excited. I'm not going to pick that as my favorite <laughs> because I already picked a favorite. You're, you already did. You already I did. did. Pick a I mean, and, then, and then after that, we have The Late Show with Shams. And true. And it's going to be like just a this... It the the jokes the jokes, the jokes are gonna, are gonna be good. they're yeah. 
Oh, they're yeah. so good. There's a dog in studio. <laughs> there is a dog in the studio. Uh, Try to steal the platypus. Please. The dog actually came in here and tried to steal our platypus. It's yeah, we had to we save had to the fight platypus. Her. We had to it's fight terrible. her. Yeah. Keep it. <laughs> but this is it for us, I guess. This is it. Yeah, I'm gonna be on that panel, but then you and I don't have another segment. Yeah, we're gonna have to say goodbye to to the chat. Yeah. Say goodbye to to all, all of our the, friends. The, all the viewers. Thank you all so much, really, honestly. PDXCon has been a wild ride getting it off the ground, making sure we had everything in place and making yep. sure that we had a show to put on for you, giving you the best news and the best interactions we could. And I, I think we did an okay job. I think so, too. Yeah. It worked out in the end, you know? Yeah. <sighs> and now it is. We've 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 shared all of the information. <clears throat> we've made it almost all the way through. Almost we still have a lot of really good panels coming yep. up. Uh, two, three, three panels, three panels, two panels, two panels. Two panels left. They're both going to be fantastic. I'm not biased because I'm in one of them. <laughs> um, totally. I mean, as soon as this is done, as soon as we have our little wrap-up, which won't be yet, quite yet, I'm going to kick you out and <laughs> switch over to that chair and then... Yes. Yep. That'll be the end of it. But is there anything else you want to talk about before we're, we're done here? <sighs> Hmm. No. Can I have one more dad joke, Troy? Before one more leave? dad joke. All right. How how dad of a dad joke do you want it to be? You get to decide the level of the dad joke. Okay. So there's two muffins and they're in the oven and they're baking. And the blueberry muffin turns to the strawberry muffin and goes, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? And the other muffin goes, holy smokes, a talking muffin. <laughs> Yeah, no, that that was that was that was, that was the last of my energy. Peak, peak dad joke, it right seeped there. Out, yeah, I feel like all of my energy is seeped out of my course in an instant. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, <sighs> suffocating from my overwhelming humor. I know it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But really, thank you so much yeah. for hosting with me. Thank you so much, Troy, for being here and hosting with me. It was a it was a good weekend. It was a good. I'm weekend. really tired. Mm -hmm. I'm really fulfilled. I feel like we did a lot of good work. Yeah. Can't wait to go home and wash laundry. Yes. I mean. <laughs> exciting non-adult <laughs> things involving yes. games. Let's say goodbye now, for real. Yeah, this is it. This is it. We have to say goodbye. First? We can't keep talking. Do you want to go first? Yeah. I'll let you go goodbye. first. Goodbye, chat. I will miss you. Sincerely, everyone in the community, thank you for making this a huge success. Thank you for interacting with our super neato keen extension. Thank you for enjoying the Discord with us. Hopefully, we'll keep it up for you. Thanks for mm -hmm. your forum suggestions, thoughts, and ideas, answering panels, interacting with us, enjoying the news that we had to give you, and for supporting us in our run all the way through. Join me for the next panel and then late night, and we'll catch you at next PDX. Con. Yes. So, yeah. Thanks, everyone. See y'all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Howdy everyone, I'm Troy Pruitt, Community Manager for Paradox, here with you today to join us with Grand Strategy, our candidates from some of your favorite titles for Grand Strategy. Joining me today, I have Martin Anward. Hello. And on remote, I have Don Lind, Alexander Oldner, 
uh, Peter Nicholson and Daniel Morgord. Hi, guys. Hello. 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 So today we are here to join you with information about grand strategy games and a discussion about the future of grand strategy games. So for those of you that aren't familiar, maybe at home, Martin, could you explain what a grand strategy game is? Yeah. So grand strategy is essentially what the Paradox Development Studio does. It is simulation heavy games. A lot of them are historical, but not all of them. Slurs, for instance, take place in the future. And they tend to be focused on playing a nation or a character, controlling territory and generally competing in various ways, be they military, economic or societal against other entities. Right, right. So grand strategy is very much something dear to our hearts. It's where we started. It's our kind of our, our, our dojo, as it were. We kind of fantasize as these people that are played as a character or a nation, sometimes both controlling territories and otherwise expanding our power throughout the globe. But this is not always the case. Sometimes we think about ideas that could be different, maybe not a nation, maybe not a character. What particularly does that look like for the future? Well, I mean, I can't obviously give any promises for the future, but right. it's definitely something I think we, several of us have thought about, is how can we expand this concept of playables? Because there's a lot of these sort of spheres we haven't covered yet. I mean, typically, like I said, you tend to play a character, you tend to play a nation, but more crucially, you tend to sort of control territory, tax territory, be a government of some sort. And one thing we really have only very much like dipped our toes into is playing as any sort of non-governmental entity. For example, if you play as a corporation that doesn't control territory directly, but rather has financial assets and sort of have and sort of acts inside countries rather than being the countries, or playing as a character in just taking an example here, the World of Darkness, a vampire where you don't own the territory, but rather you sort of fight for influence and you influence and control governments from behind the scenes. And Peter, I know this is kind of kind of in your dojo as well, but um, this is where, where does the grand strategy design space go next? And this has been something on your mind, and I understand it's something you have thoughts on. Absolutely. Uh, and I think my thoughts uh, largely echo Martin's here. I, I think one of the logical places to go next is looking at different perspectives, um, different playable perspectives, particularly, as, as Martin's mentioned, the idea of playing a corporation. And I think that can be extended outwards. You can imagine uh, a grand strategy game where you're a non-governmental organization. Maybe you're a, a corporation, as Martin says. Maybe you are. Uh, maybe you could experiment with playing a culture. Um, or a religion, or even, for example, a god, um, how might that actually look? I think it affords you new opportunities in terms of things like stateless gameplay. Um, a lot of our grand strategy games right now are very map-dominated. Um, stateless play is something that we experience in games like Crusader Kings uh, with characters, for example. But um, perhaps we can you know, it, um, look further into what that might look like uh, using other perspectives. And then, of course, I think that sort of leads you on to what can you imagine a grand strategy game, uh, what, what that might look like without uh, without a map at all? Is there some sort of crossover into other genres? Can you imagine, do many of the grand strategy game uh, pillars exist uh, without the need for a, for a map? Can, is that somewhere we could uh, perhaps look? Definitely. And... Daniel, I know we kind of touched base on that with Stellaris. We kind of got into the, the corporation side of things. What was the inspiration for that, and where do you see that going in the future? Well, um, I think uh, we mostly touched on the fantasy in, in that specific sample. I don't think we really, truly, really got uh, to the extent that we're talking about here when playing like asymmetrical or, or sort of stateless uh, or non-state agents. Uh, but yeah, like both Martin and Peter said, I think that's, that's definitely a lot of a lot of potential there to explore, like playing these uh, non-state agents. Definitely. And I know that grand strategy has been changing throughout time. It's not a genre that was very popular, but it has gained popularity since. This has changed and evolved as a space that we're all happy and comfortable with. And I know it's definitely been a technical challenge. Some of the things that were most technically important was how we handled exactly what this 
processing power, how the hardware could keep up with it, and how everything in computers has been slowly getting better over the years. Compared to the older generation, where we started with grand strategy games, uh, what changes can we expect not only in the present, but in the future in terms of generating power and processing for computing? I think there's a couple of elements to that. Um, I think the obvious one is granularity as um, hardware has evolved. Uh, you can see a fairly linear uh, link between that and, for example, the number of provinces on a grand strategy game map. You have a lot more granularity. You can do a lot more. And I think sometimes it's taken a little while for our design to to catch up with that. Um, i use the example of um, my own latest game, uh, Imperator. You know, we launched the game with this very granular map, but we hadn't really let the design catch up to it. We hadn't um, created any real delineation between these these provinces on the map. Um, so I think you know it can often it can often cause us to to look ahead a little bit, um, and we we don't always uh, we don't we're sometimes running to catch up. Uh, at the same time, I think uh, as hardware and uh, particularly software has evolved, you know, it allows us. Uh, to investigate a lot more um, graphically demanding options, um, things like uh, 3D models, uh, beautiful 3D maps. I know Crusader Kings and uh, Imperator have uh, spent a long time looking at uh, these these wonderful um, 3D maps, uh, 3D monuments, for example, buildings, um, character art, and so forth. This is something that we never really uh, expected to be able to do, sort of five or ten years ago. So that's that's evolved a lot. But I think the core pillars of game design. Um, evolves partly driven by that, but also in a in a different ecosystem, perhaps. Excellent. And speaking of which, uh, Don, you had something to add as well, I believe. Yeah. So I just figured I'd chime in as uh, as one of the oldies here. Um, like performance and stuff like that has always been a thing that's pushed back against the simulation aspect of our games. So. Um, Okay, I remember the times on Victoria 2, right? That we, we struggled against having more pops. And uh, that, that King then pushed back on a lot of the design goals that we wanted, like keeping certain cultures around for, for flavor and stuff like that, right? Where it was a direct goal to we had to remove them because of performance problems. Games like Hearts of Iron, for example, as well, with uh, lots of provinces and, and tons of units. It uh, the simulations really benefit from more stuff, but of course it it costs a lot of performance. So it's something I think like every game has run into. And speaking of where we've been and the things that we've done in the past, I know it definitely has brought us to a wonderful, bright, happy present right now. But speaking of the future, what elements are you ex- interested in exploring? What kind of games? What kind of expansions? What does the future hold for Grand Strategy? Daniel. I think there's uh, a lot of exciting opportunities. Uh, like we talked about earlier, uh, with, with the different types of play styles or being able to play different types of entities, there's also a lot of rooms for exploring, you know, what type of worlds do we set our games in? Uh, and obviously, you know, we had, there's a lot of uh, examples that comes to mind, right? What if we made a, a fantasy grand strategy game? What if we made a post-apocalyptic grand strategy game? Or what if we made more, you know, sci-fi type of uh, strategy games? There's so many opportunities there for also exploring, like new IPs, both like uh, new IPs, maybe uh, our own IPs, or even third-party IPs. Like who knows? Uh, but I think that it's very, very exciting to me, at least, to think about what what we could do there. I know I'm really excited by the idea of a, of a fantasy. GSG. I know most of you guys have thought about the idea. It's gained some support. We've discussed it. Uh, Don, do you have any thoughts on it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's something that feels pretty obvious, and the fans have asked for it a long time. Uh, I think I even written up a, a pitch of once or twice about talking swords, and it's uh, I think it's one of those areas that we haven't touched yet that makes sense. Same as the, with post apocalyptic, which is more of a like bridge between the, the the historical realism games as well. So I think there's a large fantasy there in, well, playing a fantasy strategy game. And we discussed this last PDXCon, right, Martin? You you specifically spoke about this. What are your thoughts on the idea? Yeah, no, I absolutely 
as I more or less said last uh, PDX con, I think it's just an area, just like Don said, that makes a lot of sense for us to go into. And I really wouldn't be surprised if we end up making a grand strategy fantasy game sooner or later. And I know this is all kind of near and dear to us. We've all kind of been down that fantasy path. We all love video games. We all love grand strategy. Uh, how much do you think life experiences have impacted your game design? I know it's very, very dense for both of us sitting in the studio, but also for you guys at home. Uh, and specific, maybe done. What do you think? How much has life experience impacted your creation of games? Hmm. So I don't know if life experience as such has impacted the games. It's not like I uh, I was put in a certain position and, and got inspired by a game. But for me, it's a lot about the uh, like stuff I read and, and, and watch and movies and stuff like that. So I usually take a lot of notes when I read books or, or watch movies for inspiration. And usually when I'm, say, starting a new expansion for, for Hearts of Iron, I'll do that by watching a bunch of documentaries or movies and sort of like getting inspiration out of that, basically. And so I think that's probably the biggest influence for me, at least. Mm -hmm. And Martin, would you like to chime in? Yeah, I can just add that it's a very similar way. For example, now that I've been working on Victoria 3, I, of course, uh, have consumed a lot of books. My bookshelf is quite littered with 19th century history books. And similarly, when I was working on Stellaris, I read a lot of sci-fi still read sci-fi, but what I'm working on does tend to, to some degree, govern what I read and watch. Right. So it's kind of a both ways relationship, I would say. Yeah. And, you know, especially for the historical things, I really like seeing the, the influences, the things that, you know, shaped us, what, where, what our interests in. I know, for instance, Imperator definitely was historically accurate. I felt alive in that history. Uh, Peter, how did, how did your interests and your life experiences shape the development of your game design? That's uh, an interesting question. Um, four years ago, I wasn't uh, I wasn't in this industry at all. I was a, a musician, effectively, and I had no ambitions to to suddenly join the games industry. It came as a bit of a surprise to me, and um, and went very quickly from there on in. So I think a lot of my experiences, my life experiences, are in a different creative industry, and that. Uh, I, I find that that does affect the way the way in which I approach design, um, particularly, but also the way in which, um, with a focus on history, uh, the way in which um, I approach what some people would term historical accuracy. That's something perhaps I, I term uh, historical plausibility um, or historically informed um, uh, design, and that that. That actually comes from my my musical history, where we have uh, a practice called historically informed performance. If you're performing a piece of music, you don't expect it to sound as it did in the 1700s, but you expect to give it as much effort um, to to find out how it might have sounded. Maybe use the the right instruments and so forth uh, in order for it to sound authentic. And that is something that I really tried to bring over into into the game design philosophy with uh, with Imperator. I wanted things to be authentic and plausible. But I wanted to to try and avoid this idea of having to be uh, historically accurate because I think that achieves the wrong goal. Yeah, yeah that's definitely a, a fine line to walk. Is making sure that your game is entertaining, historically accurate, informed, and feels like an authentic experience that you want to enjoy. Speaking of which, we've all launched games here. We've all gone through the process of pre-launch, launching the games, seeing it grow, and seeing it develop. One of the things that really interests me, especially coming from community, is seeing how we handle design in pre-launch versus post-launch, and then moving into expansions and DLC in the future. Alex, you and I worked very closely on this. What are your thoughts on how to shape pre-launch, launch, and post-launch support for the games? I would like to start off by saying that um, I do really believe that design before a game is released is very different from when it is released, right? Before it's released, you think about the entirety of the, f the full picture. Everything that goes into it needs to be interconnected and fit together really well. And you're also shaping the core experience uh, while post-launch you go into a, a different mindset because you, you still want to evolve the game. 
but you can't change it too much anymore. You can't make drastic changes that make the game into another game. Uh, Harkening back to what we were talking about regarding new uh, playstyles, for example, that's something I am very interested in. I, I think there is a place for a um, grand strategy game to explore an entirely different way of playing, for example, a god or a culture, as mentioned. Uh, but I also think that a released game can support more play styles in the same world, right? You always want to influence the world. And how you do that, you can give more ways of doing it, new, new styles, um, and make them play well together. That's a design challenge I I personally love to think about and solve. Like, how can we make things mesh together well and live in the same world and have an equal measure of influence, even though it's different? Right. And I know that we have published a lot of things that have changed how we view the Grand Strategy Gaming segment, especially in Stellaris. And Daniel, I know it's been a challenge for you maybe a good one, maybe a difficult one, getting through this far with not only PC, but also console support and making sure that your DLC works and meshes well on both. How has that challenge been for you? Uh, I mean, obviously that specific uh, thing has been a, it's been a new challenge for us at uh, Development Studio. So, um, uh, I mean, it's definitely not been easy, but it's, it's not been you know, as hard as one would expect either. Uh, we're lucky in the sense that we're working with sort of, um, uh, you know, we're, we're not having to do something new at the same time either. Like we're trying to adapt something that we've already made. Uh, so in, in that in that specific example, I, I think it, we're doing pretty well, uh, actually. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of learnings and uh, it would be interesting to see like how quickly we could catch up and if it would be possible for us to you know, keep working on uh, both platforms. Uh, at the same time, but right now it's too hard to tell. And technically, they are two different games that are uh, share some code, but there's also a lot of code that's different. So, um, yeah, there's there's a lot of good learnings to be had, I think. And Don, you are in the middle of one of the most beloved games of our titles. How is the support of DLCs, and how do you? classify what you're going to do next? How do you work on the next DLC? What is the process for that for you? All right. Uh, so actually, it's um, the sort of broad strokes is still roughly a plan I made uh, before release. Um, we've done some changes in the order of stuff, but that sort of is like the rough um, sort of overarching plan. Although that one's almost done, actually. Uh, and um, otherwise, it comes down to listening a lot to what the community wants uh, and see how that fits into your big plan because you usually need to do some compromises both ways. Uh, there's a lot of thought put into like when stuff makes sense. Like uh, You can't do all of the things most requested first, for example because then you get some, some weird hybrid DLC with no real clear theme or focus or anything like that. You also have to think about the resources that you have, um, because if you're trying to tackle a lot of very difficult programmer things at the same time, that's going to be very difficult for your team, right? So you want to try and have a balance in, in all of the things that you release. And that's something you kind of learn with every single release, honestly. And then usually when, when stuff... Uh, goes awry or something like that, it's because you didn't foresee some of those interactions between uh, new changes and features and stuff like that. I, I try to think about the community as different people a little bit because uh, at least the Hearts of Iron community is fairly split. You have people who are very much into the World War II strictly historical path. And then you have people who like uh, the multiplayer aspects or like the more freeform alt history stuff a lot more. They don't always overlap, um, so you have to think about giving something to everybody as well when you make new stuff. Yeah, and speaking of roads to walk, I know you've got a road ahead of you, Martin, right? Yeah, but I can also add a little bit of a reversed perspective here, because I spent the first five 
ish years at Paradox working essentially only on expansions. A little bit on EU4 before it released, but otherwise it was all expansions all the time until I, you know, until, yeah, this game, Victoria 3. <laughs> so for me, it's been a pretty novel experience to actually work on something that's far away from announcement, far away from release, because with expansions, you're, all, you're always on a pretty tight deadline. You can try to do ambitious things, but you kind of have to try and get it right on the sort of first or second iteration because there isn't time for a lot of stuff. So to actually be in sort of, you know, earlier production, have all this prototyping, it does afford you a lot of possibilities that are a lot more difficult. post release, not impossible. We did end up making quite a few changes to right. the RS after all, but right. as Alex said, it's certainly a lot easier to do it before release. And if you don't have to do it after release, that is preferable to be sure definitely and not to say we're done of course we still have a ways to walk right. and uh, i do look forward to actually being able to interact with the community again and see what they think about what we have to say and such because that is one of the things i've missed the most from yeah. these years of radio silence and i speak for the community definitely that's my job um, when i say i i definitely appreciate all of you guys you know the community definitely feels what you're doing sees what you're doing appreciates you all and follows your lead if you have an idea if you have something that you want to see done we embrace that vision. We push it forward. We present to the community your ideas and your thoughts and make sure that they understand the vision that we're trying to bring to life. That vision is not always something that is easy to get into a smaller pack, smaller features, make sure that we're getting the concise content we want. Um, on the topic of DLCs and expansions, we've discussed roadmaps, we've discussed what we do in the future, but what were some of the hardest decisions that you had to make for DLC or things you wanted to see or couldn't necessarily make? Martin? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one. There is a lot, to put it like this. So one of the most difficult decisions. I think actually, yeah, I would say uh, reworking the FTL the FTL systems for Stellaris was actually one of the most difficult decisions we made because I remember you and me, Daniel, we talked a lot about it after sort of the game was out that uh, we were trying to sort of figure out ways to improve the warfare system and make it more interesting and strategic while keeping the FTL drives. And we sort of kept running into a design wall where any sort of combination of two of these systems could be made to work. But when you had warp, wormhole and hyperlane, it would always sort of just hit a brick wall because one of the systems would destroy whatever we solution we had come up with for things like static defenses, bypassing multi-front wars and things like that. So in the end, we sort of decided, okay, we are going to bite the bullet. We are going to cut the game down to hyperlane and we're going to, you know, sort of re-implemented the other systems as new, not alternative methods of FDL, but more like advanced methods of FDL and, you know, wormholes became these travel points and so on. And yeah, that was, I remember that it was pretty solemn when we actually made that decision. Yeah, Daniel, anything to add to that? I would probably agree with that um, example. Is that uh, <clears throat> definitely one of the, the trickier ones that we've had along the way, I think. But looking back, um, also looking at uh, you know metrics and data and stuff like that, it seems like it was the, the right um, decision for the game, and I definitely believe so. Like design wise as well, I feel like it's been a lot easier to solve all of these problems that we had in the past. Like we haven't run into them to the same degree. Um, so it's definitely been uh, been like uh, a, the good track, a good track for the game. Um, and I'm, I'm also thinking of like the question again, like if there was something after that that was t tricky for my from my side, but um, I don't think it's anything specific to be honest. It's it's more so like when you're working on new uh, expansions and DLC, it's more like finding that balance that I think uh, Dan and others talked a little bit about before. It's like you have you have to come up with a theme. Yeah, but you also have like these ideas of how you want to make the game better or add, add these cool things. Uh, but then you also have like you know outstanding you know technical issues or or uh, quality of life things that you want to improve. So it's always a constant balance of like you know uh, how do you get the most bang for the buck, pretty much, while also uh, keeping a strong theme so that it's exciting, like the the new stuff that you're uh, putting into the game. <laughs> 
And Peter, I know that this question kind of is something you always think about in the, the strategy and planning. Any thoughts on, on it? Oh, where to start? Um, I think for Imperato, this was a question that was at the forefront of my mind quite often. Um, we had a fairly concrete vision of where we wanted to be a year down the line um, after the, the the big 1.2 release. Um but getting there was the, the the interesting challenge, I think, because in order to get to to that that vision of where we wanted to be a year down the line, we couldn't simply go dark for a year. Um, we have to be able to split things up and release, uh, keep interest going, keep the community satisfied. So we have to split this thing, this this idea, up into multiple parts. And if you look at the history and the development of Imperator as a game, uh, you can see how each of the successive updates in the the latter year um, built on the previous one in order to create something um, that together made, I think, a lot more cohesive sense than each individual part. And you had the religion update, the culture update, and both of these sort of funnel together to create the big uh, Marius warfare update. And, you know, in an ideal world, I'd have liked to do all of that in one, but uh, but having to split things up into into manageable chunks was definitely the, the right way to do it. it. It was a lot easier to, to develop that way. Um, but it didn't come around to sort of displaying that the the fruition of the design until that moment. Um, so I suppose that uh, that would be my answer there. And Alexander, we kind of have the opposite problem on CK right now. We're we're very early in the development. We haven't released a lot of content, so we have a lot of content that we want to release. A lot of things that we want to see. How does that shape your or impact your roadmap or vision for what we bring out for the next DLCs or contents that we may be working on in the future? There's so much I want to do, really. Uh, a challenge that is unique to CK, I would say, is um, that you need to properly balance the game around um, a, a different type of player, almost. I would, I would like to place um, CK in a bracket where it's equally important to focus on immersion and role-playing and consequence of your actions as it is to focus on balance. Of course, you can never make something that is, uh, let's say, a pure role-playing feature without any connection to the game at all, because then it would be disconnected. But it's definitely a different type of design space. You think, uh, you think about what sort of experiences you want the player to have on a very um, immersive sort of grand scale, um, not necessarily with balance in mind first. Um, and this produces a, a different type of, uh, of process where you um, try to marry this uh, immersion, this role-playing aspect, this very unique character-focused ideal of Crusader Kings with, uh, with the game itself and uh, make all the systems interact nicely and feel like they produce a cohesive experience. The sort of ongoing narrative, the emergent stories, um, And not to completely switch gears and change topics here, I don't want to really railroad you guys, obviously. I value all of your inputs and everything. But we've discussed fantasy. We've discussed the idea of a post-apocalyptic, possibly, idea for GSG. But one of the things that's kind of been kicked around the community a lot is present day. Why or why have we not considered a present day one? I'll toss this over to Don. Right. Um, I think we have a couple of times. It's um, There's a couple of unique challenges that come with it, I would say. One is that it's no longer so simple um, to represent conquest and control and stuff like that, because you don't have full world wars anymore, right? And uh, on the other hand, it's also very close to us, right? So that makes a lot of stuff very, very sensitive. Uh, so this is something I tackle a lot in, in a World War II game, right? And that's, there's not that many people alive still who had a connection to that, right? Uh, at least directly, right? But if you start looking at things that are like 20, 30 years ago, or even five years ago, right? It becomes very close to people. And if you're going to do a game like this, I feel like it needs to be the entire world. 
And then you have to be an expert on everything everywhere to not accidentally step in the wrong stuff, right? Or misrepresent things. It becomes very, very difficult, right? I feel like the only way to really pull it off is is to do it sort of extremely iteratively or try and do it more like in a joking manner with like social critique and stuff like that, mm-hmm. where where it doesn't get so serious, basically. No. But it's, I think it's it's very difficult. Yeah, and uh, Martin, something to add to this? Yeah, I can just add that another way to pull this off would, of course, to actually be to make it alt history rather than full on history. Which may not exactly be what people who are asking for a modern era game are looking for, right. but it would be one day to sort of one way to sort of take this tack. Because if you're saying, you know, oh, this is the old history where the Soviets won the Cold War, or this is the old history where this thing happened, or whatever, then you can make something that's kind of like the modern world and reflect on the modern world and have some similar events, but that doesn't directly go you know here's our interpretation of what happened 10 years ago to people that are very much alive today and you know right. get the into right. getting into that for enough right the, the the risky territory of well we're here already and what happens if something progresses past this point yeah yeah exactly yeah it's it's a very tricky subject one that maybe one day we will tackle maybe we'll do the alt history route but it does definitely does warrant further discussion um and you know, on a lighter note for you guys, it's been a it's been a, a rough year, you know, for all of us. But what has been one of your favorite highlights from the creation process over the past year, year and a half, Martin? Oh, that's uh, difficult to say. Just a single highlight. I mean, Johnny on the spot here. We've right? been involved in so many very deep design discussions, like developing Vicky Tree. Obviously, there's just so much talk about. How do we do? How do we do these things? Iterating on economics, politics, everything. So it's very difficult to point out just a single instance. But I think a highlight for me has actually just been getting to have these super intense, long, and very iterative design discussions for things like. Uh, Particularly, I would say the Victoria Tree economy mm. system mm. and how it's shaped out and how it's gone from sort of version to version like it's where it's like okay this is pretty good and then it's getting better and then it's getting better and then actually getting to the point of the game where things start clicking because that is always super exciting of course you know we're still quite guys always to go in development but there's always this point for a feature and especially when you have multiple features where things start coming together and you're saying oh holy shit this is actually getting to be a game yeah and that is just a fantastic moment um, what about you, Daniel? Any particular favorite moments from the year, year and a half in the past? Ooh, it's a really hard question because it feels like, at the same time, it feels like it's been like three years, and at the same time, it feels like it's been a month. Uh, like time is weird. I'm sure uh, other people feel the same. Um, but like specific uh, development points, um, I think I think uh, a lot of the positives for me is like just. Uh, sort of behind the scenes kind of things like trying to change sort of how we work how we develop uh thinking about like how we can get more content out there uh quicker while also being able to sort of address like outstanding concerns or uh, things that we want to do to uh do with the game so i think for me it's mostly to be honest like behind the scenes kind of stuff that uh i can't really talk about too much in detail (laughs) but uh yeah uh, Don, how about you? What has been one of your great experiences? I'm a simple man, so I think uh, I'm going to just say that when one of the, my programmers showed me trains driving around supply in Hot Iron for the first time on the map, that made me super happy. Doesn't have to get much deeper than that, I think. What about you, Peter? It's been a it's been a rad year working with you so far, and I'd like to know what some of your favorite moments were. Well, it's been a bit of a roller coaster uh, the last year, but I think it would be remiss of me not to mention the 2.0 uh, release for Imperator, and particularly the just overwhelming response um, we had from a from a core fan base um, who had. Uh, 
many legitimate um, criticisms, I think, of the game for a very long time. Saw a lot of potential in the game and, um, for all intents and purposes, I think found it realized with the 2.0 uh, release. We had so many messages of support, messages of um, gratitude, happiness, for sort of reaching uh, what they saw as the potential for for what Imperato could be, so I, I think that was that was a bit of uh, vindication after after quite a few years, and particularly this year of uh, development. And I know Joachim and I had a blast streaming 2.0. It was fantastic getting 2.0 out there and feeling and experiencing that community's love. Which leaves us with last, but definitely not least, Alex. And you can't say launching the game. Actually, you can say whatever you want. But what was one of your favorite experiences from the past year? <laughs> So um, it's interesting because when you're not there in person uh, doing design uh, discussions with your fellow designers, it's, it feels different, right? And I, I wouldn't say it's good, but one very positive thing from the last year is uh, that it's quite easy to connect to everyone else who wants to do design or help up with design. Um, so while it is different, it's also better in a way even though you can't meet up in, in real life and, and scribble design ideas on a whiteboard, which I personally love, you can you can still you can connect um, to others in in the company that are very far away and still have a productive and interesting design discussion. And I think that's an interesting takeaway from this last year. Well, thank you, Alex. And. It's been real. It's been real fun. I've had fun with you guys this whole time. I'm so glad that you got a chance to sit down and talk with me. And you guys at home, thank you so much for tuning in, calling in, and helping us with this discussion. Don, thank you. Alex, thank you. Peter, definitely thank you. And Don, you'll thank you so much for joining us today. And Martin, of course, thank you for joining me in the studio and making this entire discussion possible with me and making me not feel so alone on this stage. Thank you for having me. And for those of you at home in the community, Thank you so much for being part of our journey. Thank you for playing grand strategy games, making an inclusive, welcoming, warm, and friendly environment for everybody. We hope the road continues on for many years to come, and we can't wait to see where it goes. So stay tuned, and we'll see you all later.
welcome your host for this evening, Chief Business Development Officer at Paradox Interactive, Shams Jorjani. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Late Night Show, the final show of PDX Con Remix 2021. I'm your host, Shams Rajani, and by day, I'm the Chief Business Development Officer at Paradox Interactive. And by night, I somehow get roped into hosting these live shows. Somehow. I don't know. Tonight's show features highlights from the best parts of PDX Con, special guests, and as always, a little bit of audience interactivity. You can even mess with the environment using the Twitch widget. It's 2021. It's our own flavor of Levolution. If you're not familiar with PDXCon, or if this is your first, it's basically the Oscars, but actually relevant and slightly more political. Thank you. This year's PDXCon is fully digital, with the audience viewing from the comfort of their own homes, meaning, of course, that right now, I'm probably the only one wearing pants. No shame in that, it's been a long pandemic so far. In fact, this is the first time in a year I'm wearing anything but a business shirt that ends at the nipples. This marks the final segment of PDX on Remix, the culmination of three days of streaming non-stop. The event has been a ton of fun for us here at Paradox, honestly it has, and we hope it's been for you too. We've had so many in Discord, we actually broke it. Over 120 talks, panels, and activities, over 160 speakers, hundreds of hours of content. And believe it or not, we actually announced the most memed game ever in Paradox history, Victoria 3. Longtime fans know this, but if you stumbled here while queued up for your next drop in Fortnite and might be feeling a little bit lost thinking, who's this guy anyway and what's he talking about? Let me tell you, I'm thinking the same thing. Joking aside though, let me say that Victoria 3 is in many ways the most quintessential Paradox game. At first glance, Victoria 3, or your average Paradox Interactive game for that matter, has most civilians going, I'm sorry, what was the game about again? Oh, it's simple. It's a game about industrialization, political reforms, and concepts like manifest destiny. That wasn't a joke. When I say this, usually one of two things happen. Either eyes glaze over, or people go, ah, it's that co-op game with the silly weapon names, right? Actually, no, it's not that game. But once and if and when you get past that and actually play the games, oh boy, there's a good chance you'll be hooked for life. It's kind of like making sourdough bread just once. It quickly turns into a lifestyle. <laughs> that means a lifestyle of designing roundabouts, obsessing about Pope succession laws, and occasionally marrying a horse, or polishing the borders of the Holy Roman Empire into perfection. Speaking of perfection, the reviews for Leviathan are in. I think it's safe to say that more people gave positive reviews to the Treaty of Versailles. Too soon? Yes, yes, we released a big expansion to one of our most popular games that completely bombed. Rightly so, we screwed up big time. Completely true, that's on us. But come to think of it, the previous expansion we released also kind of bombed. That's two in a row. Ugh. That's not great. But just like the Germans say about World Wars, it's best out of five. That's right, I said it. Don't mention the war or Leviathan or Germans. Ah, nobody remembers a coward after all. I think that should just about do it. I'm never going to get asked back to host one of these things again, and I can go back to developing business again. So with that, let's get the show on the road. We have guests joining us from all over the world, world, to help cap off this magnificent event. Let's get going. <sighs> Finally, okay. At this point, you probably noticed that we have, you might have some glitch going on. This is your cue to start messing with the environment. Don't mess too much with the environment. You're going to miss the jokes and the hairstyles and everything. So for those of you who've been look, watching the stream so far, probably noticed that, you know, PDX and the stuff we do is fairly nerdy. Uh, I don't think you quite understand how nerdy things can get. Uh, we try to crank up the nerdiness to a completely different level, and that's what we want to do tonight as well. So let's talk about and look at some of the nerdiest moments from PDX1, shall we? I think, I think, 
think just for for the the technique, it has to be like the skiers. I don't even know how they made them jump. How do you? How did you make it spin and do the and do the jump and do the? Uh, uh, Oh, that's Oh, I okay. That one's okay. There we go. Oh, okay. That's fifth. I look quite think? dashing, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So everything's planned until the yeah, final yeah. detail. <laughs> now, when we failed on live stream with Paradox Order, it still <laughs> became better. It's like what? Uh, to this focus, we want it to be one step down. That hasn't changed, and one step to the left. Can we, can we remove our character's beard and reveal that fantastic chin we had as well? Oh yeah, it is a peace seal, so technically there should have been a vote for that. There has been a vote of no confidence from the Senate. By my calculations, to get rid of your uh, your deficit, I think you need to sell like 31 or 32. Boom, we're back. Okay, so let's, uh, to help us talk about the nerdiest moments of the XCon, let's welcome to the show. Community Manager, Josh Bassett. Welcome, Josh. Hello, nice to be here, Shams. Hello, Josh. How you doing, man? Really good. Pretty pretty tired after three days of PDXCon, <laughs> but uh, feeling good. I can imagine. Okay, uh, before we get into the topic at hand, can you just give the audience a little bit of a, a background to who you are? You've obviously been on the stream a little bit. Uh, you've... Um, yep. You presented yourself to some, but I'm assuming a lot of people tuned in to, you know, catch me. So let's let's introduce yourself uh, one more time properly. Like, what's your background? What brought you to Paradox? I know you have a little bit of a sordid background with uh, YouTube as well. So maybe share a little bit on that. Yeah. So uh, as Tram said, I'm the community manager. I'm for Hoi4. I work on. I've uh, been at PDX about two years. I started off as a uh, community ambassador. I uh, work on Hoi as well, and I'm sort of slowly worked my way up to be uh, sort of in leading the community side on, on that project. Yeah, and yes, as uh, Sham said, I do have a, a YouTube side business, which I sort of do on the side. And, uh, in side hustle. Doing. So, uh, a side hustle, yes. Uh, some of you may, may recognize my voice from that, um, but probably not, considering how many people are here and how big the internet is. So yeah, you've got to do a wide variety of things. And uh, I think you're a bit too humble. It's fucking great videos, man. So it's definitely check that out. Okay, so Thank you as we dig into this, as we dig into this, can you, uh, a lot of people probably are aware, but some are not. Let's talk about like, on a very basic level, we're talking about grand campaigns here as some of the nerdiest moments, right? Can you talk us through what a grand campaign is uh, and how that differs from a normal kind of playing of Paradox games? Essentially? Yeah, so a grand campaign on its most basic level has been a thing that our fans have done with PDS mm -hmm. games for as long as I can remember, in that you'd play, uh, you do them basically in chronological order. So you start off with CK3 or Imperator or whatever game you want to start with, and you go through and you play subsequent games in historical order, like E4, you might play Vicky, uh, Hive 4 and Stellaris in our case. And so for the grand campaign that we did for PDXCon, we took this idea and sort of developed it into a, uh, a, a long playthrough to build up to the event, uh, including different bits and pieces. and. Uh, yeah, including a, a, a fully voting Discord Senate, which is uh, pretty interesting to be a part of. So let, let's roll it back a little bit because, so what was the inception behind this way of doing it? Why not just dig into one game and just do it crazy? What, how come, is this something that the, the community does a lot? Like how come you want to play something for thousands of years? What's the, what's the appeal in the grand campaign, do you feel? I think, I think the appeal is that you get to tell a story which is much greater than just one particular time period. You get to have characters and, mm. and systems and a big story you've, you've created yourself you know, in an alternate, an alternate world. Our fans have used things like save game converters in the past to, to directly port a one game state over to another game to carry on the, uh, the, um, the, the story. Uh, most of those end up with some pretty, uh, pretty interesting border gore at the start of each <laughs> game because CK3 um, will lead to a lot of border gore, but at the yeah, start yeah. of e so we didn't do that. Didn't do that for our for our campaign, but uh, that's one way that he would do go about it. I'm happy you mentioned the border gore. During this segment and interview, we'll have a question up to the audience to kind of have them weigh in on which of the games ended up with the worst border gore. And maybe we should explain the concept of border gore for my mom or whoever is might be watching that does not play our games. What what is border gore? So border gore uh, is making the borders of your nation in a PDS game look as unappealing as possible. Being, being very, being very, um, you might have a very long snake, a very long uh, appendage, your nation, enclave, exclave, promises scattered about, 
Um, there's, a, there's, there's a thing in Hoi communities or Hoi in, in PDS communities in general to have borders look appealing, which a lot of time means look like a historical border or fit nicely along a river line or along a certain coastline. And border gore is when they do not do that. Okay. When they, so, when they and this is, around this is where we should mention it. that a lot of people who don't play our games were probably wondering, like, are they actually talking about borders of countries? And yes, in fact, we are talking about borders of countries. Uh, so before we oh, well, kind of reveal... No, but other things as well, of course. It could be cultural borders as well. Let me let me ask you before we move on to to reveal to what, what kind of the what the audience uh, actually felt uh, felt thinking about the worst uh, offending game that had the worst borders. What was your kind of take? Which game uh, did you feel was the worst? Uh, my opinion was that was that Hoy had some pretty pretty uh, pretty bad border goal. Um We snaked our way across basically the entirety of Europe from from the uh, northwestern German coastline to Greece in a very sort of thin uh, sliver and uh, it was pretty pretty much an eyesore but the uh, the chat loved it so that was the main thing it reminds me of gerrymandering from u.s politics um okay so uh let's see what the audience thought we can probably see that on the screen while we continue to talk uh so a mix of this is, is what people need to realize that this is this is a a um uh, and crusader kings 3 is the the worst border gourd game uh, what people need to realize is that it's just not playing game, but it's actually role playing through Discord where people are you know, playing role playing UN, but on a historical level. Isn't it? Yes. So um, for the first time, I think basically ever for a video game to do this, we had a um, a Senate on Discord made up of literally thousands of players who joined, and they were able to impact what the players on stream could do, and they they basically ended up creating an entirely artificial multi-party democracy on Discord with parties yeah. and constitutions and laws. And it was, yeah, they really got into the role play and uh, made some pretty funny laws to make our players do things they may have not wanted to do otherwise. People don't go power hungry, starting to kind of grab power, turning into despots, anything kind of wild. Yes, I mean, that did happen. There were, there, there were some quite uh, big clashes between the Senate and some players who weren't so keen to follow the instructions, particularly uh, okay. Rugi and Daniel had some, had some notable okay, run-ins yeah. with them. So Paradox employees not following the rules, that's the first. Okay, so, and what were the, what were the player reactions to the, this kind of level of uh, uh, role-playing and regular play? Is, that, is this something you'll see, I think you think we'll see more in the future? Like, well, I, I hope so. I think it was really good. Um, I think we had a lot of players, particularly with getting into doing modding, um, because we we basically we didn't use the the existing sort of community made save game converters. We manually ported the, the game state over, like through world building and, and sort of deciding how the nation might have evolved between different play sessions. And then for the E4 and Hoy, Hoy legs, we had a bunch of people in the Senate who decided to create mods to try and reflect what we were okay. doing. Um, and there was a whole team of people, some of whom had never modded before, who were getting involved in doing it. Um, which is really, really surprising. I didn't expect to see that necessarily. Um, so yeah, big shout out to those guys because they made the, the Grand Campaign really, really feel a lot um, more like a real world in the Hoi, in the Hoi leg particularly. Uh, so I think most people watching who are not our players are starting, are starting to realize how, exactly how nerdy we can get. So this wasn't something oh, yeah. that started this weekend for PDXCon stream. This actually has been running for quite a while, hasn't it? Yeah, so we ran it, uh, started in mid-April, so it must have been about five or six weeks ago now. Uh, and it ran for five weeks um, of constant discussions and negotiations and voting and modding and all these kinds of things. And there must have been a, a core group of probably several hundred, maybe a thousand players who were actively involved in this Discord for a long time. And it was really enjoyable. Okay, and uh, any kind of closing notes, any high personal highlights for you, the nerdiest moments of PDXCon for you? Of the, of the convention itself, um, I really enjoyed the, the being on the, mod, the modding stream um, with Manuel and Victor uh, yesterday morning. Um, really got a good insight into how to mod Hoy, and uh, if you want to get involved in that, anyone, anyone watching, uh, do, do check that out, it's a really good place to start. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much, Josh. Make sure everyone you check out his YouTube channel, uh, and thank you so much. I'm looking forward to see what happens with the grand campaign in the future. Thank you, Josh. Moving on from that, from one nerdy thing to another third nerdy thing, what I want to talk about now is some of the highlights of uh, PDX Gone. Maybe some of you missed it, but the big highlights are, of course, the announcement show and the award show. Let's have a look. Vicky 3 to a shirt. Vicky 3, Vicky 3 confirmed. Vicky 3 confirmed. Now this is 
is epic. 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 <laughs> Confirmed. It's confirmed! It's confirmed! Woo! Well, well, this is different. Uh, nope, not fixed. One second. Uh, psh, uh, But now we are ready to announce the first major expansion. Well, it's wonderful to be here. Um, hope this was interesting. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, actually, we do have some surprises. Mm. We have heard the community loud and clear. You want more content for City Skylines. So we're here to give it to you. Incredible! Hey Ebba, thank you so much for having us. We have this. We really want to thank our fans for making Stellaris bigger and better than ever. Is it uh, true that NASA used the music for Surviving Mars when they did the stream for the landing a couple of weeks ago? Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. The big night is finally here. You choose the award winners at home. Uh, I've never been this nervous in my life. Hi. Thank you for the award. My goodness, thank you very much, Paradox Interactive. Hello, everyone. Thank you, and hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hey, guys. Grand Slam! Now, we recognize that Victoria has a special place in your heart. See you there. See you there. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. To help me talk about some of the highlights from PDXCon, welcome to the show. The big kahuna of Paradox herself and my boss, our CEO, Ebba Jungel. Welcome to the show, Ebba. Hello, Shams. Thank you. How are you nice. doing? Nice. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> very you, happy. You? I mean, okay. it's, been a, it's been a really quite long weekend, but a very oh, yeah? uh, good and cool weekend. Very yeah. happy with uh, what we have seen and done this okay. weekend. Have you been glued to the screen? Have you been watching? Yeah, I've been watching We've had lot. Eurovision running in the background, maybe? Eurovision running in the background. Yeah. Who did you vote for? Did you vote for anyone? I didn't vote for anyone okay. in Eurovision. No, yeah. sorry. Yeah, should have maybe, but yeah. Okay, so let's let's talk about PDXCon. Uh, uh, it kind of, uh, let's talk about the announcement show. For those that you kind of missed, we saw a little bit, uh, but you want to talk about. Oh, before you continue, let me just tell you that throughout this entire segment, we'll, we're going to be quizzing you. Oh, God. And put, okay. pitting you against the collective brains of the internet. Yes, yes, and yes. And see mm -hmm. uh, I will who most likely so lose. If you use then. the widget, yes, yes. you should mm -hmm. be able to kind of pop out the questions. I'm going to okay. fire away a question before we come up to the next thing right okay. away. Okay. Okay. Um, and these are not the questions that we rehearsed, so you're screwed. Okay. Which one of the following media has Magicka, our wizard classic game, not spoofed? Okay? Which okay. has Magicka not okay. spoofed? Is it Reservoir Dogs? Is it Game of Thrones? Apocalypse Now? Or The Wire? <laughs> Good question. Yes. I'm going to say not Reservoir Dogs. Apocalypse Now. Do you think... Now, have you played Magic? Okay, the wire, the wire, the wire. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you cheat? No. Maybe. Okay. It is, It is. I think, the wire, and I hope... Is it the wire? You don't even know. Uh, here's the thing. Huh? Magic has so many freaking spoofs. Yeah, okay. So, fine. technically, this was the one I couldn't think of remembering anyone, but probably somebody from Arrowhead is watching now and they're going to let us. Okay. But coming back to the award show or and the announcement show. Highlights. Yeah. Um, so obviously, Vicky three big, big highlights. Like it, maybe it's hard for people to understand how big yeah, of an announcement it is. Yeah, I think even it um, yeah, it's but whenever I say anything, no matter if it's financial reports, <laughs> if it's like this is a photo of my dog, whatever it is, every comment. Well, there's always like at least two comments that's like Vicky three when Vicky three when. So we so joke it, about so it, but it's it's. it's, 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 it's I mean, it was a huge thing to be a part of uh, announcing this, and it's a huge thing to do. And it is a little bit of a scary thing as well, because yeah. the expectations are just through the roof. Yeah, and yeah. they should be. And, you know, I mean, it's amazing to have well, something know, that people are longing you know, for so much. I always say but, that yeah. low expectations are the spice of life, yes. right? So <laughs> so you're welcome with yeah. some of our recent releases, so you know where to go from there. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, but we've announced it. Uh, uh, the question is what people will be joking about next. It's You know, we joke about yeah. it. But it's quite the big disruption that whenever yeah. we want to talk about anything, no matter just, what, no it matter is, what it is, and again, like but, but, even with investors, yeah. yeah but it, uh, no, no, well, a little bit, some yeah. of them, the true the, the, yeah, the true investors, okay. uh, yeah, definitely. And then you know, I mean, but the whole show was really very, very fun to do. I haven't done any of these uh, huge shows before, but you know, it's like it's a, it's a bit, it's like everything is green, and you think that you just have to. 
moderately well mm -hmm. act. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about be, the behind-the-scenes stuff? It, that's apparently rolling on the uh, Mega Megatron right oh, now. Oh, right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, again, like here's a proof that you don't this really know what's going on. what Ian McKellen felt like when he was, yeah, he was exactly. filming The yeah. Hobbit. He yeah. broke down on the like, whole, I'm a stage yeah. actor, I can't work with No, that. but it, it's, uh, it's super cool, obviously, what you can do digitally. Uh, but it's kind of hard when you talk. Like I was, for instance, I was talking to Bre Brenda Romero, yes. and she was actually over here on a screen. Yeah. But I had to stand like this and talk to her. You feel ridiculous, yeah. basically. But it's also really fun to see how it all uh, comes around. And then so many people are involved, and we've had so many of our colleagues and uh, partners being involved. So that was really cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's let's roll this second question. Mm -hmm. um, we had released a game called The Showdown Effect, which did incredibly poorly uh, financially, if you don't remember. Like, I, I remember vividly. This is uh, before my time. This was, I would I, like this to was say. the first time I offered my resignation to, to Fred uh, oh. over a failure oh. of the game. So. Oh. And the, the, there's going to be one after this show, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely <laughs> happening. So what was, what was not the real tagline for The Showdown Effect? Okay? Okay. The 90s called, they want their gameplay back. Nah. <laughs> multiplayer just got multiplayer -er. fight to the death or die trying kick ass take names and then kick the asses of those names oh <laughs> this really? is legit yeah, yeah, yeah like which one uh, do you know you gotta stretch it out for like 10 the seconds the multiplayer multiplayer one <laughs> multiplayer multiplayer one. that's actually incorrect i don't know if i timed it Twitch widget, who knows? But the but purpose it, so is which entertainment. One, which one is it? The, uh, the 90s called, they want their gameplay. Oh, that one uh, I thought yeah. was very uh, so which, appropriate. Just, it was, I think it was too vanilla. <laughs> we're very edgy back then. Okay, let's do one more where we're where we kind of Before, uh, can I just ask about your props here on your yeah, uh, sure. desk? Yeah. Anything you want to talk about? This is, uh, very briefly, uh, for those of you, I don't know if the camera of, can zoom uh, in. Uh, we uh, have uh, a zooming yeah. camera. I don't know. Uh. You don't have the technology. Anyway, this is our spiritual grandfather. Yes. Uh, and our lead, our, 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 one of our leaders. You know, you know yeah. our sect leader in yeah, some ways. Yeah. And it's not Frederick Wester to his mm. great disappointment. It's another Frederick. It's Frederick Malmberg. <gasps> he lives in Hollywood these days. He lives in Hollywood. He's the grandfather of the Swedish gaming scene because he brought role-playing to Sweden mm. in the 80s, which then uh, give, gave birth to a bajillion game developers a bunch yes. of years later. But he also founded Paradox. And everyone who starts working at Paradox gets this nice, this actual, this portrait on their desk. Uh, on the first day of employment. So that's going to be a big uh, thing when we go back to the office, actually, making sure that everyone, this uh, circulates around okay. all the people who've started. Apparently we didn't have the behind the scenes video. Let's roll it and have a look. Oh. Something new has entered the remix. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Kablamo, we're back. <laughs> Behind the scenes. I don't know. Yeah, okay, now we've seen what the green okay. screens look like. Oh. Right, yeah. So, that, that, so Q rolled the jokes about Ian McKellen and crying, yeah. you know, Again. Shakespeare and actors, yeah. and you yeah. get the kind of joke. Let's move on. Uh, another question is queued up, I believe. Which of the following has never appeared in official paradox communication? Never appeared. The phrase, you boat your ass. That has... <laughs> a fictional spokesperson named Lars Larsson. A placeholder game logo that was just someone's cat. And the lyrics to Poison by Belle, Belle Biv DeVoe. Which one was never... Poison, in... I know, has happened. Oh, am, am I allowed to yes, respond? Yes, you, like... you, can, you can speculate. I'm gonna it's say like the millionaire. Cat. I'm going to say the cat. Like... We never did the cat. It's like, how is that even possible? But that is the correct answer, it turns out. Oh, it is? Yeah. But we should have done the cat, I suppose. No, but Lars Larsson I've heard of. Yeah. 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 And the boat, I'm thinking it's you, the ship simulator you extreme. You boat your ass is Stephen Wells all the way. Uh, yeah. If you haven't seen the trailer for ship. Leviathan, no. and not... Leviathan is a great theme. So we actually, 
Yeah, we have another Leviathan. The Leviathan wasn't our first screw-up. That was actually our second screw-up with, uh, with a game called Leviathan. <laughs> but check out the trailer. Uh, and it had a lot of boat puns. Uh, and it was one of those trailers that got a ton of views that did not translate into sales. It did not translate into that's, that's You don't need the high end for that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's move on yes. to one more question. Which, which one of the following is not a real premium edition of a Paradox game. Deluxiest edition. Like, what? what is this company even? <laughs> Die More edition, Kingmaker edition, or Robe Warriors edition? I think that alludes to magic. Deluxiest edition, to... Die More edition. Okay, uh, Die More edition. No, that's Teleglitch. Okay. So that one we actually used. It was actually, I'm not, I don't know if I can say the answer because the, the, the Twitch integration thingy is so slow. It is Robe Warriors. I try to say it slowly to kind of catch up with the, the widget. But, yeah. Anyway, let's I believe I had the, got that one right. Anyway. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Okay. So mm. uh, uh, I take it you're happy. You were happy in the the car ride over. We were yes. talking about it. No, I'm super happy. And I yeah. think, I mean, I, yesterday I was watching the award show. And that's, uh, that's, I mean, the announcement show is the biggest probably out of viewership. Oh, but yeah. the um, oh, yeah. uh, the award show is probably the biggest for us, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. because that's like the essence of who we are, right? Do you want to go over why we do why we do an award show where we give away awards? Because our games are about obviously us and our games, but it's also about our community. It's yeah. about all the people who do mods, all the people who do, uh, you know instructional yeah. videos on the games, et cetera, et cetera, because as it, you were alluding yeah. to <laughs> before. Yeah. Uh, and this is just a way for us to show that uh, we really, really, really appreciate yeah. uh, the, and, all and the, the effort the and the time. The company kind of motto, slogan is, we make the games. You create the story. Exactly. So, so uh, yeah, and also I did see that uh, our beautiful song, yeah. that hint, hint, someone here maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Are singing and... Yeah, I'm not gonna, let's, uh, let's not go into that. No, but that that, uh, that was also something that... Was, it's like a bucket list thing of mine. To actually actually record a song, a song? in a studio. Yeah, okay. and now I got to do it. And it's on Spotify. Yeah. So uh, for those of it that follow along with Paradox, we're quite kind of big on doing the music. We have a great music yeah. producer in the company, head of music, Tobias Gustafsson, and he helps us record all these kinds of great songs. And we do so many co-operations, we, right? We, and, you know, we have tons of Eurovision fans. We mm. participated uh, with a competition mm. in two, two years, years ago, ago. Yeah, in the Swedish uh, Eurovision part. We, uh, we, it was political. We got voted out. Uh, of course it was, it was really, political. It was the best song by far. Yeah, but it was really yeah. good. Stormbringer, please click on yeah. Uh, yeah. the song on Spotify. It'll <laughs> really save my KPIs. <laughs> yes, because you are responsible I'm, for music. I'm actually, that was my second <laughs> resignation uh, tendered. Uh, anyway, uh, so yes, for this year, then we did a. a, a the song is really great. Actually. Yeah, Le- yeah, it's like, it's like yes, it's, we're biased. I mean, we're, yes, the song we're is legit, but good, I, I like it. But it is very cringy, uh, at least you me, because think I have a very so. low threshold and I have a fairly high yeah, so. level, which is probably good. Yeah, but the song is on Spotify, and uh, it, I love it's, it. It's for posterity and for many generations. Friendly singing to come, too. It can be the cringiest moments ever in Paradox history. Uh, any any anything else you want to kind of highlight that we want to? Obviously, we didn't plan to do it digitally. We want to do it physically yeah. next I mean, year. Ne- yeah, thought. for sure. I'm. I'm. Uh, I mean, I love PDXCon <sighs> for uh, lots of reasons. Uh, mm. But the main thing, and I know this is from all over, but for me, the main thing is meeting up with everyone. Yeah. Uh, a lot. Of, we have like a lot of the staff is coming to the show, but of course also the fans and the players out. and uh, all, all our partners. So that's the best part for me. So I really, really, really hope that we will go back. To Can I say? That. I think it's it's silly, uh, but it is so humbling to see so many people actually fly yeah, across yeah, the yeah. world to one of our yeah, events. Yeah. It, it is like it, mm. you know. It, it, it. And you know, you. I mean, now I think because a lot of things have worked really well this year, so I'm sure we're going to mix it up a little bit more yeah, in the yeah, future. Yeah. But we also have this really cool... And not really have cool Troy on for like 72 hours non-stop without any sustenance or sleep. Or Troy, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's outside still, so he's still happy. Okay. I hope. Yeah. Okay. No, but anyway, it's, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that... I, I think it would be great to do it in Stockholm again, actually. 
one one more time, or maybe the U.S. We can see. But there are lots of options there. Good. Mm -hmm. Do you think this will be the last time I get to host this? Do I need uh, to say something more controversial? It's like very, I haven't said anything. It's very close. <laughs> it's very close. <laughs> No, no, but uh, I think you are doing a great job, actually. You're very funny. You can't see it. And also you have um, clothes for once. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I dressed up. It's uh, not true, by the way, that you wear nipple uh, no, no, shirts. No, no. no but, but I, I you like do to dress wear up for the show. very uh, casual attire to the office. <laughs> not okay. Totally not cool. Okay. Uh, if you gave me a reason to dress up, maybe I would. Ooh, oh, okay. ouch. <laughs> okay, so let's try to round it off. Uh, Eva, any, any closing words? Any any kind of uh, uh, admonitions? Uh, no, but I mean, as this is like, what was the show about? <laughs> I, I also think, that, yeah, I mean, a lot of other things as well. But I also, uh, I enjoyed a lot of the um, panels and uh, talks. Like the one, uh, there was one uh, from uh, Empire Sin around uh, how to create the character. That's mm. really cool. Right. And then just now, like right before we started, uh, a bunch of our amazing game directors were talking about how you make a game. Okay. And that to me is, that, I mean, that's like, it's the secret sauce, right? So that that was really fun to listen to, I thought. Wow. But lots of, lots of uh, great stuff and lots of people participating and giving their uh, time and energy. Comments. And, uh, yeah, so it's Thank amazing. you so much. Mm. Yeah, thank you. So with that, thank you, Eva. Uh, thank if, you. If the tent poles and the skeleton Let's use it. Let's, mm. If the skeleton of PDXCon was the big shows, let's talk about the meat, the blood, the sweat. The tears. The tears that make up the Not, rest of the... I don't the, know the, if the, there's been any tears. Uh, uh, after this, maybe. Uh, maybe. Anyway, so if you want to talk about those things, that that is our community. And like we said, because of COVID, COVID, we can't have a real freaking event. We have to do it. We have to do it digital style. Uh, so we've had... We have to shift things into completely different gears. We have unprecedented levels of community engagement. We pushed the levels of technology. We have Twitch, Discord. We've had email, fax, interpretive dancing. Every kind of <laughs> interaction between us and the fans, we've tried to pursue it. Um, and so let's talk a little bit about community. We're back. Welcome to our central community manager, Christoph. Is that right, central? I mean, you know, some people argue. I have heard the phrase leadership poster, like principal meme lord. No, no, no. PR's okay. Bane, no, 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 Ghost no, 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 no. Stop. Let's stop on the central community manager. I didn't know we did Soviet style titles at, at the company. Like, I want to be Grand Commissar or something, like Central Community Manager. Like, how did you get this? I mean, uh, listen, I, I don't know. I, I do. I do. I was actually born behind the Iron Curtain. Oh, wow. So, so maybe maybe that explains it. You do know? you have a piece of the Berlin Wall with you today, now? Oh, okay. I mean, I left it, I left it in my other <laughs> shoe, you know? You left so. your other shoe. Okay, so introduce yourself to those that are not familiar with your grand exploits. Uh, I know you as the guy who, you know, helps me with the podcast, so thank you for that. But let's talk about you. Like, how did you get started in the games industry? Where do you start with Paradox? Why the Where are you here? Well, I got started the same way I, what I'm um, doing, what I'm doing now, which okay. is um, I was making memes on Facebook. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, and suddenly I got a DM uh, from Suzy, who's not, oh, not yeah, working yeah, I here anymore. Susie. 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 Yeah, hi, Suzy, if you're watching. Uh, uh, and it was like, hey, uh, do you want to make uh, memes on uh, Stellar Twitter? I was like, yeah, seriously. I, uh, yeah, so I this is the, the, I have to stop you again. Sorry, <laughs> but this is like it's like a, a lot of people are like ah, I want to work with video games or we're gonna be YouTube star. But literally, your career path has been memeing. But uh, again, granted, good memes, not not the bullshit memeing. The best memes. We have meme 
That's that's good. Let's, so you memed your way into Paradox, and how long ago was this? Oh, it was like uh, close to four years now. Oh, yeah? Honestly, it's been a while. So uh, let's talk about the community, the role that during PDXCon, what I've been doing, and how do you kind of been interacting with them? What do you have to share? I mean, uh, I'm really grateful to the community. It's why I have a job, right? <laughs> uh, in the end. Uh, but no, I mean, uh, our motto is uh, we make the games, you make the stories, yeah. right? So ultimately, this event and the games announced and shown uh, during it are for everyone watching mm. and maybe playing games as they are watching uh, right now. So it's a kind of a, a big deal for us to uh, involve our players uh, okay. in this. Yeah. Okay. Good. And can we talk? Uh, we spoke a little bit about this with Josh, but we uh, we talked about community interactivity that kind of started before this weekend. What was, what was the setup there? Yeah, I mean, Josh talked about the grand campaign. Yeah, yeah. And there was another thing we messed around with uh, that was called the uh, treasure hunt. Okay. If you were in the PDScon Discord, we gave away a lot of prizes during this thing. Cash? I, uh, games, over 10,000 game keys. I don't know if you would believe what? me. Listen, our players <laughs> called us generous. Like, like oh, this, what? This, <laughs> no, what, they what did not. What is wrong with did you? Did they call us generous? <laughs> are, you, are you okay? Blink twice. <laughs> no way. <laughs> call us generous. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, wait. So what did we give away? Why did we not take these the game keys? I mean, listen, uh, we actually gave away Teleglitch, which <gasps> I, I, I know will make you uh, happy. If you have Teleglitch, you are the resistance. Teleglitch to confirmed. So we have the map up in glorious 8K yes. resolution. Yes. If you don't have an 8K uh, monitor, shame on you. Yeah, it is 8K or 6K maybe. It's a lot of Ks, guys, okay? It's Tons of Ks. Good, download it. Get it, it's pretty. Download it, okay, exactly. Download it and use it as? Uh, wallpaper. Uh, it's 8K, so you can do yeah. basically anything. You can print exactly. it on, like... You can wallpaper your house. You can basically cover the Netherlands with it, essentially. Exactly. 8K. Same size, same size. And Belgium. Yes. In the, in the same uh, go. Okay, so we had uh, quizzes. What was the deathmatch thing I heard about? Let's oh, uh, ask about deathmatch. Yeah, I mean, we had this uh, cool thing on Twitch, right? I'm uh, hoping for real deathmatches, please. I mean, uh, when we have a physical event again, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, 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 <laughs> had we had a physical event, it would probably have been some form of deathmatch. Exactly. Probably, super exactly. Event. We would okay. just have, you know, one cup of coffee in a room and two people. You know? exactly. <laughs> That's what would have happened. <laughs> it would have been bloody, yeah. terrible. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, and uh, so they've been involved in kind of shaping it. So I have to ask, before we move into the big topic, which is talking about the memes, how much do we just, you know, do you try to, how much of your day is spent finding memes? I mean, I do actually like, browse our uh, community's fan yeah. groups, uh, looking for stuff they made. A lot of the stuff you guys create are actually inspiration for stuff we put out okay. later. I would say like at least an hour a day just consuming, absorbing all the shit posts, all, 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 the, all the memes, all that okay. stuff, you know, just to just to keep sharp. Why don't we do more Hitler react to ourselves? Like, uh, it just feels like we should be riffing off the community and there is... Yeah. <laughs> Pushing uh, back. Let's push back. I mean, yeah, kind of. But you know, I, I, I'm not. I haven't been on the job as long as you have. I don't know if I'm as secure. Dude, <laughs> in, if you don't place. offer your resignation at least twice a week. You're like, doing something. Give wrong. me a stamp like, of approval of some Nobody sort. remembers a coward like my friend Zeke <laughs> said. He used to be a community manager here. He's not anymore, and thus. But I remember him because he, he I mean, wasn't a coward. That's what matters. Exactly. Okay, so let's let's move on to the to the Vicky three memes. What do we have to kind of show us? Uh, well, we uh, have found some stuff. I want to show you some of the best and worst. <laughs> and Shams, I'm going to ask you to put yourself in the shoes of the community before the legendary announcement from this event. Okay. And try to decipher what I'm going to show you. How do those things confirm that Vicky3 is in indeed confirmed? That's, that's going to be very difficult. I'm, I'm used to very small shoes, so, so it's uh -huh. going to be hard for me <laughs> to put myself in those. Okay, shoes. let's take a look. Uh, so, Shams. I don't know if you knew, Frederick Wester, uh, right before PDXCon, <laughs> actually confirmed Victoria 3, like very directly. Uh, looking at this, it, it might seem obvious, but let me actually zoom in. <laughs> let me actually zoom in to uh, give you a clearer explanation. Ah, Here we go, right? I mean, clearly, clearly, Fred, you shouldn't have. Should, should, have, <laughs> no, uh, should have been a little more careful, but uh, fair enough. Uh, I, I, you know, it's, at least it's Victoria 3 and not some kind of secret alt-right sign and something. So uh, yes. I'm happy Thank for that. Thank you, Fred. Happy for that. Okay, <laughs> for next that. one. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, this is actually uh, one uh, that uh, I made. In, <laughs> in <laughs> Were you pushing your own meme? Of course I am. Like, Are you selling this as a, a cryptocurrency somewhere? Are you pulling it? I mean, now, that, it now, as a now that you mentioned it, you know. You should. Yeah, it's, it's apparently possible now to monetize memes. You shouldn't, on though. Twitter. It's terrible. Yeah, Double but this tax. is more uh, an acknowledgement of the persistence of you, our, our fans. Uh, it has been like that for a few years. You have come to bargain and, you know, <laughs> uh, you, you have won, ultimately, I suppose. Um, there is more, uh, though. I want to show you something else, which is this, Shams. Mm. Do you know how this thing confirms that Victoria 3 indeed is confirmed? Wait, let, let me give you. Do the math, Shams. It's simple. It's basic, elementary event. No, it's right there. I'm coming up. Short. Like, listen, there is. When is this from? It's 19th of January. I have no idea. What's, yeah. what's the what's the gap okay, okay. rate level analysis here? So, so yeah. we have we have someone who has deciphered it. The math checks out. Uh, this <laughs> gentleman. <laughs> they did the math, right? Yes, yes. He did the math. Connor, you legend. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute legend. You got it right. You got it right. That was it. I, I will admit, when I saw this, I, I died inside a little bit. Uh, Eba said there were no tears. That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> I shed, actual, I yeah. shed a few. No, but you know, people don't understand. We can't conduct any form of bit. We have other games in our portfolio. Allegedly. We have other games to kind of hawk and sell. <laughs> but everyone's going to keep talking about Victoria, and it's it it doesn't deserve this much attention. But hell, we have to do it. Yeah. Okay, I so. Mean, they got some kind of. I did enjoy it. What about also, this one? This is this is <laughs> okay. This is it. <laughs> this is for you, Connor. Yeah. This this is uh, okay. Me and and your post uh, when you made it. So thank you so much. And since we are talking about this guy, about Connor, you know, Shams, oh. he actually came back. He, he came, came back. He, he came back a day before PDX con. You know, he saw this post that we made, <laughs> and you know, and clearly, clearly, this thing confirms Victoria three, and Connor. The man, he did the math again. Again? You know, yes, he did the math again. Just look at it. So, can I ask, is Connor your alt account? Is this an actual person? No, but he is an inspiration. He's like, like, your spirit honestly, animal. At this point, at this point, maybe I would tattoo him on my back or something. Uh, it, it really was uh, something. Um, so, before I show you the next one, I would actually like uh, studio to uh, queue of a video we have prepared. Okay. Uh, just for a moment, guys, please. Roll it! Chumps. How does this confirm Victoria 3? Well, it was a bunch of freaking numbers, man. I don't know. Like, Let's people see... Like, this is why conspiracy theories exist. See, we're, we're, we're monkeys geared to see patterns. So, obviously, our monkeys and we ourselves just see threes all the time. I mean, yeah, it does confirm it. Guys, just for the record, it was not the music, even though it's from Victoria, t Victoria 2. Here is uh, how this confirms uh, Victoria 3. It was right there. <laughs> Right in the middle. <laughs> so it wasn't the number. <laughs> no, it wasn't no. the numbers. It was one of the many dice. <laughs> yeah. Many shapes. Exactly. Exactly. It wasn't a one. It yeah. wasn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's it's that's square. it. I mean, it 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 makes like sense, shops, Really, if you Galaxy, look at it closely. Galaxy brain level BS. This exactly. Is. We should. Exactly. I should. We do, haven't had a podcast episode on memes, but uh, and I don't think we should do it because we actually have good content uh. on the uh, podcast and business content, uh, content, I would say. But I am now offering my services to host a monthly meme show, and we do a roundup of the best memes on Twitch. I'm, let's I'm let's make it happen. It. I'll call you. It's, All right? it's a deal. Do we have more memes? <laughs> yes, we do. Let me just wrap it up. Guys, this is another one that I'm shooting for myself, but there, it's here for a reason, actually. So this is uh, something we prepared uh, right uh, after the announcement, you know, because it's, it kind of feels a little bit sad that we are letting go of this thing. We have killed the meme. Uh, but luckily, our community is on top of the job, and of course, uh, just as I, just as I posted it, here you go, Victoria 4 confirmed, right? So uh, the meme is not over. The next meme has already started. Yeah. I really hope people don't freaking meme about Victoria 4 because it's at least 12 years out. So please, <laughs> please, yeah, please. You heard stop. it here first. And Shams, since we are talking about beginnings of memes. Do you know how the Viki 3 meme originated? 
when it began, where it began. Probably some stone tablet that was dug up in Judea or something. Yeah, I mean, 2013 Twitter is basically that. It's yeah. the, about the same, the same time scale, right? <laughs> exactly. So, guys, I went looking. I went in looking for the oldest Victoria 3 request, the actual request, that's a much mention of the name. And uh, here it is. Uh, we have uh, this guy, Lucas, mm -hmm. asking our PR guy, Troy, you know, and now it's time for Vicky 3, August 13, 2013. It's been almost eight years, almost uh, actually, eight years. since uh, since was, you did it. It was a simpler time. Yeah, yeah. Time. Is that the is that the legit first yes. meme? And we use the power of you know Google and searches or Bing. Yes. I did. I, don't know I what, did what my people best. At least at least as far as Twitter is concerned. Okay. And Shams, I would like to top it off by doing something because this guy has waited almost eight years. Mm -hmm. If it's okay with you. I would like to respond to this tweet. Oh yeah, right now? Now. Oh, you have a, now. I, I hope you have a draft prepared and uh, you're not going to type this no, out. No, I'm going to type it, out, type it, but I'm going to do it very quickly. Your vigil And this is, is this over. Is where, you, you're legit doing it now. It's, Victoria. Uh, this is not what we rehearsed, I can tell you. Confirmed. Now, posted, typos. There we go. Spend. Thank okay. God for autocorrect. Fantastic. I'm, I'm going to start rounding you off. We could literally talk about memes all day long. I think I'm looking forward to next year's event. I think we'll do this meme session uh, once a year. If, we, if you and I still haven't, you know, nobody's accepted our resignations, I'd be happy to, to host this session with you. I also hope that we can kind of tie it off to some cosplay events that might appear if we start doing. I know we have a lot of players who want to show off their Wehrmacht uniforms. Like uh, you know, tons of players all that stuff. That. I agreed. So, Same thing. Uh, with that, thank you so much, Christoph. Let's let's thank move you. on. Um, I think that uh, Paradox is about 20 years old now, uh, in real world uh, years. 20 years in game dev years is more like 120 years, which means we're ancient. So we have to go down memory lane uh, and talk about Paradox then now. Let's let's have a look at the past. It's safe to say that 2016 was the best year ever in Paradox history. It's a statement we make every year. I've been trying to teach people my way of doing things. For me, it all started with this game that I played. <laughs> it's gonna be a kick in the game. <laughs> yeah, that's such a, such a cool experience. And my final word says, Carthago de Landa Est. I'm glad that you're here to witness the announcement of Crusader Kings 3! So, to talk about ancient history, we had to dig up the oldest dinosaur we could find and bring him here before dementia takes him entirely. Welcome to the show, uh, our former CEO, Frederick Wester. Welcome to the show, Fred. Thank you so much, Shams. I'm, I'm really happy to see that you dug up the photo of Fred Malmberg as well. That's really great. Yes, exactly. If, if you're a dinosaur, I don't know what that makes him. Um, but, Fred, you're you're not the CEO anymore. You're the uh, chairman of the board. Sorry, chairperson of the board. It's, it is 2021. Let me ask you, Frederick, uh, is the gavel heavy? Is the gavel heavy for you? Well, yeah, I would, I would say it's a bit heavy. Uh, the work is very different from what I'm used to doing. So I don't meet people every day in the office. So it's, it's a bit of a mental heavy gavel you could say but yeah. i think we're uh, managing fairly well even with me as chairman yeah and i think it's i think it's safe to say that you are frustrated that you're so far away and we're so frustrated that you're still so close i think so that's that's the general uh, sentiment that uh, eba and i kind of agree on um yeah i think you're i think you're very much right about that yeah uh, as always, Fred, before you and I continue along with the, the questions, uh, uh, how is Majesty 3 coming along? Because you ask me every week, so I want to ask you this week, how is Majesty 3 coming along? And maybe we can explain this yeah, joke. I'm, I'm basically, it's, uh... <laughs> it's an in-joke, so it's hard to explain, but I think I've talked to pretty much every independent game developer in the world 
by now. So uh, I, ho I hope that sooner or later someone will actually sign up to do it. I mean, uh, I'll uh, probably have to finance it myself, but uh, I'll, I'll have to start my own sub-label in publishing. Yeah, uh, I think uh, you and I have less clout than you and I think because I've been trying to get Teleglitch to two to get funded, but you know we have literally no power. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all the kind of war stories and how, like have you break out like in my day we were served warm gravel and those kind of stories that you always tell. Um, uh, but can you talk a little bit about the vision of PDXCon, the first one, just very briefly about the first PDXCon, which wasn't called PDXCon, of course. But what can you share? Like, what was the setup then? What was it, you know, idea? And how's that translating to today's uh, COVID event? We, we started PDXCon, I think, in 2004 as a proper media event and fan event that we, inv we uh, invited people to just come and visit us, drink beer and have a good time. So I think the first time we met with, with fans was to play Crusader Kings 1 in multiplayer, I think, before the game was out. <laughs> Did it but run it turns in out multiplayer? The game was too no, it was too buggy for actually for running the multiplayer. So <laughs> I didn't when we the door, switched yeah. games to Hearts of Iron 2 instead. That was in 2004, 2005. And then we held yearly media events, uh, calling them Paradox Con, I think. But 2017 was the first time we actually had uh, people from all over the world coming to us because we could actually host uh, a lot of people in uh, more the public space. So it was really great. It was a big step forward. For us. Good. Uh <clears throat> Let's 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 move on to more uh, pressing matters. Uh, you, one story I'd like you to tell. It was briefly told during this uh, the stream and event already. Was that Victoria One didn't do great, right? Uh, and Victoria Two almost didn't get made. So could you tell us that story and a little bit about that bet you made? So when I started the Paradox, it was uh, a sunny uh, August day in 2003, the 1st of August, when I stepped, this, set, set my foot for the first time in the Paradox office. So I started with a heap like this, uh, full of contracts uh, that was supposedly to be done for a game called Victoria and Empire Under the Sun. So we released a game that same fall in most markets, and especially in the German market, it was delayed. So we released it December 23. And it had the odd effect that it wasn't, you couldn't install it in German because it would crash. It had some sort of error on the gold master disc that was replicated. So we sat all through Christmas just downloading or, or, or helping people to download files. And if you thought German internet is bad now when you visit Gamescom, you should have seen uh, German internet in 2003. It was basically two goats on a treadmill running the whole internet of the country. So, that, that's how we, we we basically burned this little like patch or update onto a CD and sent it to people around the country. So yeah, it was good time. I I want to I want to apologize to any German viewers who work in German IT infrastructure or did in the uh, early noughts. Uh, the, you, the, Fred's uh, characterization of a goat is a, a comedic effect, I would uh, like to add. Right. But uh, the point was it's made not, and taken. It's, it's, yeah, it's not meant to be taken literally, right? It could refer to anyone in the dairy industry, exactly. So, right. so what happened then with Victoria 2 then? Uh, so, uh, when uh, Johan, I think it was Johan or Henrik, wanted to make Victoria 2, I said that's not, never going to fly because Victoria 1 would never broke even, I think. Or if it did, like 10 years later, uh, when we started, uh, we released it on Steam and started breaking even. I, and I, the main reason it broke even was that the budget to make it was really low. So, then I got that set as well, right? But, uh, <laughs> so I, my bet was that if Victoria 2 ever breaks even, I'm going to shave my head. Right? Okay. And, and I did. Um, or I didn't do it myself. It was actually one, a host for IGN, I think we did. And here we can see this was uh, uh, back in, when was it, 2000, somewhere around. Oh. And what was uh, her name? Uh, she, Jessica Chobot. Shaved your head because yes, you lost yeah. the bet, right? Because it did break even. And uh, surprise, surprise, where I'm going with this is that I would like to take you up on a bet this time, Fred, is that if Victoria 3 breaks the uh, grand strategy pre-order record i want you to come on the show and and we have a dog here and uh to shave your head uh and uh and prove to everyone that uh, you still got it and who knows it might not even grow back and it might be a good look for you so will you do that will you right. take a bet uh 
Uh, I, I think it's an interesting bet. And, and uh, you know what? The, the thing is that if you look at that picture, I was really young and promising still back in those days. What happened, and, Brett? Uh, yeah, what, like life happened to me, you know, like it does to a lot of people. But the, my only scare is that if, if it grows back now, it's going to be all gray. But you know what? Let's do like this. I, if we break all the pre-order records uh, for the game, um, I will shave my head if you do it as well. We can do it as a joint, like... No, no, no. No, no, no not this time. I'm pop queen uh, the games on. industry with, like, John Romero and, you know, uh, Derek Douglas at CAA. Like, I'm, I'm not... I'm not. And David right. Martinez as well, so top four. Uh, but, right. okay, maybe. Well, we're going to have you on at least and uh, for you to shave your head. Um, uh, good. Uh, Fred, I'm going to leave you. I know it's late for you at this time. It's way past your bedtime. Uh, so I'm going to uh, leave you there uh, uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. Lucky for me, he's probably not going to remember that additional part of the bet. Uh, but I think uh, let's, let's try to close it up. Uh, it's been a pretty good PDX con. Uh, we really wish we could have had it face to face, but this is a second best and we look forward to meeting you all face to face in the future. As you know, usually at this point for, during a real PDX con, we just break everything down, break out the drinks, the karaoke machine, and just have a big old party with all the players and do karaoke, it's our thing. Uh, the script says here that I should sing karaoke. I'm absolutely not going to do that. That's not going to happen. So I just want to say a tremendous big thank you to everyone who's organized this event, all of our fans who participated, keep supporting us. We really appreciate your business and for supporting us throughout the years. And we look forward to meeting you guys soon. So with that, my name is Jamster Johnny. Take care. Have a great show. Take care. Bye-bye. I am so proud and happy to get to host this announcement show for you. It's physically impossible for me to leave. Okay, that's very concerning. Now entering the game director for Crusader she Kings 3. The story. Is this Virtual Star Studio? Yeah, PDX that's right. Con? Yeah, PDX Con? Yeah, it's here. All right, cool, I'm here. Mid-level, Matt. Hello. Oh, wait, hold on, it's Experience yeah. Matt now, right? Yeah, experience. Welcome, Experience Matt. We share a common goal, unique for everyone. Definitely make sure that you tune in, check out One Pro Out Bav Bavarian. Mm. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go and just take a walk. I'm, I'm out of here. You know, I'll see you later. I think the thing I remember most is me doing the crazy thing with uh, with World Wars. It was some idea I got, got that got stuck in my head. Paula, what do you say? Let's get this show started, shall we? It's a hard secret to keep, Mikael. Hasn't it been really hard to keep this secret? <laughs> yeah. It's too hot. That's that's what it is. So the smaller bear is the boss. The, the older man. Older bear. Oh, the, okay. the elder bear. Okay, perfect. I think a highlight for me has actually just been Victoria Tree. Confirmed. I'm Pontus. I am Lorenzo. I can't wait to share more about surviving Mars in the near future. Oh, oh did, we, did we lose Jonathan? Oh no. no what this guy took over. Oh, what's, what's going on? <laughs> oh, hi. <God. laughs> it's faded. Your fridge, your fridge like, is broken. <laughs> yeah, my, my Excel spreadsheet just was, you know, the colors just swapped right now. Hey, why did you turn off the lights? I wasn't done saying thank you to everyone. Hi, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, that, is, that is there. <laughs> Stay tuned for more PDX content. Oh, yikes. See you at the next 
one. One more thing. Vicky 3 confirmed. Bye.